On Christmas night in Southern California, we welcome you to Staples Center in Los Angeles for game two of our Thursday night doubleheader matchup of two of the best teams in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors, the Los Angeles Clippers, as we extend happy holidays from all of us at TNT. The Warriors had won 18 of their previous 19. Barnes with the steal. Curry and Green are back. Barnes lost the handle. Here comes Curry. Steph Curry with that gorgeous touch. That's a horse shot right there. In transition, one leg at the free throw line. But getting back to that Laker win against Golden State, if there's any definition as Steph Curry in transition, five quick points for Golden State. Shot clock down to three. What a move by Curry. Spates with the bucket. Oh, no, he didn't. Steph Curry with the split on the double team. Nice drop down assist to Maurice Spates. And Paul draws the foul. One for 11 shooting to this point by the Clippers. Hogan out with a bone condition in his right knee. All not able to hit. Paul with the recovery and scores. Spates. A tip missed. But Green able to retrieve. Here's Curry. Yes. And again, you saw a, a quick release. Makes the catch and it's gone. And picks up the two pointer. He was trying to get both feet from behind that three point line. Chris Paul, only his second field goal now, two for seven. He has. Eight points. Here is Griffin. And there is the face-up jumper. Down to a minute left in this first half. And a six-point Golden State lead. Blocked shot. Jordan with the rejection of Spates. Reddick for three. Livingston trying to back in. Shooting over Paul. Paul with the rebound. Trying to go behind his back. And a foul on Livingston, a blocking foul. Hey. The lob intended for Jordan. Here's Curry with the lead, and Thompson puts it down. Well, not only do they get the stop and steal, but how about Clay Thompson recognizing that he had a step on Matt Barnes to get that outlet from Stephen Curry. Curry, Thompson from the angle, yes. Clay Thompson from downtown got off to the slow start, but he has really come out. 14 points now, six for 12. Well, to have a guy like Spates on your team to stretch out that good center as JJ Reddick. This is back-to-back -back threes here for the Clippers. A little different tone here at the start of the third quarter from what we saw earlier. Oh, Curry on the drive. That counts. It's a goal ten. Griffin with some room. Barnes with the rebound. Green for three. Draymond Green. Nice play by Paul to broke it up. Three on one. Paul to Jordan. Luckily, Jordan with the reverse stuff. And the Clippers are giving the Warriors a taste of their own medicine. Iguodala from downtown. Back tap by Jordan. Doc Rivers saying we get a lot of back taps. Oh, Paul. And we saw Steph Curry in the first half put Chris Paul on skates. Well, whatever you can do, my friend, I can do better. And just put Steph Curry in the spin cycle right there with the finish and one. Paul head on a switch by Lee and now fires. Yes. It's a different Clipper team here in the third quarter. And the Warriors will talk it over. We don't want to see a Quincy AC situation as we saw earlier as Curry knocks it down. There's Curry. Might have gotten away with a yes, travel. Yes, I believe he might have and was able to get it to Lee and Lee is fouled. So Lee will go to the line, fouled in the act. Reddick called out the uh, personal. 13 points, nine rebounds, plus five assists for Griffin. In fact, Griffin, who had 11 assists the other night, 
leads the Clippers an assist here tonight. Nice recovery by Lee. David Lee. Oh, beautiful pass, Curry for Lee. Well, quite his cap. We talked about the struggles offensively for Curry. He's five of seven from the field with 12 points, but he's slowly working on a triple double. Seven rebounds to go along with seven assists. Oh, nice goodness. move by Paul. Chris Paul. <laughs> with one tenth of the second remaining in this third quarter. Don't mess around with him like that. CP3. 18 points for Chris Paul, 8 of the 18 in the third quarter. Farmer. Back comes Curry. Off the turn is fouled by Farmer. So there might be uh, similar thoughts coming from uh, the coaching staff after this one here tonight. And then Saturday night as Paul knocks it down. Warriors are back home from Minnesota, and that's the first of a six-game homestand. They'll play seven of their next eight in the Bay Area. This is a Golden State team that shoots 48%. Chris Paul, again, Golden State leads the NBA in shooting. Tonight, they're down out of 43%. The Clippers defeating the Warriors 100 to 86. And we are ready to get underway. Two of the game's biggest stars on the stage. And it goes to LeBron James to start things off. LeBron with a floater that's remarkable. LeBron James, just 18 years old. First guy in the gym here today. LeBron James continues to be hot. That's a three-pointer. I mean, goodness gracious <laughs> sakes alive. The steal by Strickland to McGrady. A two-handed jam this time. What electricity in this building. This is spectacular. The clerk back to McGrady. Jump shot. Good. LeBron James now. The clerk is back. The pass was for Boozer. Broken up. Gearcheck. McGrady. Gearcheck reverses it. He drops it down. Paul Simons needs a timeout. LeBron James. Jump shot. Sweet foot on the line for a two. Comes up with the steal. What a talent. And another jumper. Rainbow. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, that thing almost hit the ceiling. It came straight down. Swatted from behind by McGrady. It'll still be Cleveland's basketball. Teron Lou is in and Keith Bogans as well. Bogans has been a surprise. Kedrick Brown again. Juwan Howard trying to stay hot. Gets it on the front of the iron, won't drop down. Gooden turns around, too strong. Pops it back in his hands, trying to fight it up. No whistle. Give it McGrady! <laughs> oh, my! <laughs> that was a combination of Michael Jordan, Dr. J, and George Gervin on the same play. I, too, can <laughs> finger roll. James backs it out. Boozer. They'll play off Carlos Boozer not knowing he's a pretty good shooter. Oh, and James stays hot. That's a three-pointer now. McGrady turns around with a little rape up of his own. And McGrady has 12. Strickler to McGrady. Nice passing. Oh, great to Juwan Howard. That's a free throw. Oh, what a putback by McGrady. LeBron James with a three-pointer, answers back. He now has 17. Strickland, out to McGrady. Three-pointer! And that's what Ron Strickland has meant to this team. Somebody else under the basket would never even see McGrady. LeBron James, another three, that's good! McGrady Watch sees out. an opening. Watch out. Oh, no! <laughs> You can see it in his eyes. He is determined, as we've seen every LeBron opponent this year. Tracy Abouskis and LeBron James are most effective against your defense. How do you do a better job with both guys? <laughs> He's doing a great job of finding the open spots in the zone. Uh, you know, our big guys are not rotating out to him, and he's making shots. And uh, 
we're going to have to make an adjustment in the second half. Great half for you offensively. Where were you most effective? Uh, just finding my spots uh, out on the perimeter times and uh, driving to the hole, making things happen, praying for my teammates. Good luck in the second half. John, back to you. Once again, we see Ira Newville coming with tremendous defensive focus and intensity. And McGrady just goes up, hits the jump shot over, and now he has 21. Oh! The lob from the big man, the T, to the guard, James. It's supposed to go the other way, isn't it? Things have changed. James, rainbow again. He can't shoot, right? James, short. Great outlet, Tracy McGrady. Over the top for somebody. Right to Strickland, and it's a down. Oh, the drive. Did you see, not just the drive, he tucked that ball like a football and then released it as he got to the basket. But just the patience, the sense of balance and perspective. Now that's a tough shot. <laughs> you know, I started to say, if that goes, <laughs> <laughs> that goes. Two, three, I mean, that's what it's come down to, folks. Who can come up with the more spectacular shot between Tracy McGrady and LeBron James? LeBron James, there's McGrady guarding him. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Tracy McGrady just turns back and smiles. And he's calling for it. He's calling for it. Get out of his way. Tracy plays him as great as you can. And that is a bailout with his fabulous rotation. That's the kind of shot that Larry Bird used to make with regularity when he was the three-time MVP. <laughs> that was, that, what are you going to say? That's the look on Tracy McGrady's face. That shot would have gone over Yao Ming. Oh, Gauskas spiked that one like a volleyball. McGrady fakes it to both of them. Watch out. LeBron James again. Ron Lou to Gooden. Swings it to McGrady. McGrady, tough three. And McGrady looks at James with a little point of the finger and says, all right. McGrady, great pass into Gooden. He gets and drops it down. It's Christmas. Two of the league's biggest stars are giving a gift that you will remember. Tracy McGrady and LeBron James have been nothing short of spectacular. They just beat New Orleans in their previous game. Ron Howard puts it down. That ended a 7-0 run. McGrady jumps shot, and it's another three. Can you count to 40? LeBron James answers back with a deuce. LeBron backs his man up, finds Carlos Boozer, drops it in. Carlos Boozer, tough pass for Howard. Working the hard Boozer, goes underneath. Blocked by Batie. Bogans gets it back, blocked by LeBron James. Brady backs up. Shoots over Williams. And it's good. How do you guard him? You don't. Boozer. That guy, you're right. How did he go to the second round? Here a check. All he just, <laughs> all he just ran a body block. Good gets the block of the ball. James creates. Boozer up. Taps it in, and he now has 17 rebounds and 18 points. McGrady, three seconds on the shot clock. Releases off the front iron. Put back by Good. No good. And we get a timeout called by Cleveland. They'll have two seconds to try and win this game in regulation. The T nowhere to go after launching three. And we are headed to overtime. McGrady gets it and draws a double team. And then the T backs off. Juwan Howard releases. T Mac. Dumps it off for Howard. Howard hits again. 15 for Ju Juwan Howard. That's now eight points in the overtime for Juwan Howard. Grady backs off Williams. Gooden with the screen. Now has Boozer shooting baseline. 
and buries a three-pointer. T-Mac is at it again. Ideally, Carlos Bruja would force Tracy back the other way. An indefensible player, Tracy McGrady. But on a night of stars, it was Tracy McGrady, the brightest one of all. <laughs> oh, McGrady, why not? An amazing game on Christmas Day. We're happy we could give you this gift. Once again, our final score. 113 to 101, the magic to it. Tracy Juwan was able to dominate the early part of overtime. Why was he so effective? Uh, because he's running the pick and roll, and uh, they were trapping the pick and roll. He's definitely wide open. He was able to knock down South Fork. Great individual matchup between you and LeBron. How aware of, are you of that kind of individual matchup when these games are going on? Well, uh, that's what we're playing on Christmas. Uh, you know, he's not surrounded by the hype for nothing. Uh, he's an outstanding player to be 18 years old. And uh, I was just looking forward to the challenge. He came out and did a tremendous job. You were plus 40 last Christmas. You were plus 40 today. What is it about playing on this day? I don't know. It seems like uh, nothing else is really going on, and everybody is watching, especially watching today, because they wanted to see the matchup between me and LeBron. And, uh, you know, I'd rather be at home with my family. But Merry Christmas to them. But, uh, you know, I don't know what it is about Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well, Tracy. Yeah. Thanks. Welcome to the NBA Christmas Special presented by Blackberry. A rematch of the 2011 NBA Finals as we start the shortened regular season. The Dallas Mavericks fresh off their raising of the banner, hosting the Miami Heat. And it was just over six months ago in Miami where Dirk Nowitzki, so emotional, ran off the court at first, then came back to celebrate with his teammates. And just over six months ago, Whereas Pat Riley has always said it was misery for the Miami Heat as they fell short of their quest for a championship just to win shy, but now they're ready to come back. As we look at our starting lineup today, brought to you by Taco Bell. And the same starting five for the Miami Heat that started in game six of the finals. They have added a few new players for the season. The Mavericks have added a number of new players, including two new starters, Brendan Hayward now starting in place of Tyson Chandler, and Vince Carter in his first year with the Mavericks, starting at the two guard. Carter's first shot blocked by Wade. Great contest by Wade to start it out. It's usually the champion has the continuity. Miami has the continuity here as good screen by Bosch and back cut by James for the layup. Lovitsky drives past Bosch. Marion poked away. Nice defense from Chalmers. And here comes Wade. And the defense for Miami, very sharp to begin. Carter's on Wade. Wade on the drive. Reverse banker. Beautiful play from Wade. Well, Vince Carter's a very good post defender. Good spin off the body by Wade and then uses the rim for protection. Last year, defense was so critical for the Mavericks, Jeff, in, in obviously winning their championship. Well, they improved greatly, and they had the ability, unlike a lot of teams, to go zone. And the zone really helped them impact the teams with the great wing defenders. And this is where Miami is the very best. Turnovers caused, run out dunks. Wade got one earlier, and now James. Wade gets a nice pass inside and gets fouled by Nowitzki. Wade got the pass from one of the new members of Miami, Norris Cole, the rookie from Cleveland State, who is going to play some minutes for Eric Spolstra and the Heat. And a nice welcome to a new man, Lamar Odom. After seven years with the Lakers, he was upset when he found out that he was in the proposed trade that was going to bring Chris Paul to the Lakers. He requested a trade. And now he's gone from the Lakers, a member of the Mavericks, his first shot. Hey, welcome to Dallas. Well, he's a, such a versatile player. Defends, posts, rebounds, and is great decision maker with the ball. Pretty nice decision from Wade. He's off to a good start. Listen, Lamar Odom is a perfect fit for anybody. And think... I like what Miami's doing right now. They are going in the post to Wade and James. A little cross screen 
I think the Mavericks should be dropping down with one of their big guys, a paint catch, and a little bit of a left-hand jump hook. Listen, you don't need a great post move when you catch it with two feet deep in the paint. Good entry by Wade, good finish by James. But Mike, going back to the trade, I don't think he was traded because he requested a trade as he drove to the rim and Bosch blocks it. I think L.A. was trying to get money as Cole knocks in a three, get money off of their cap because of the new luxury tax rules. You can't give away that guy just because for a little bit of time he's unhappy. Cole misses that one. James the rebound. Back up. And he got hit. Well, James back to the free throw line. And Nowitzki, who put on one of the all-time free throw shooting clinics during the postseason, including that one game when he was 24 for 24 against Oklahoma City. So many clutch free throws in the finals as well. You know, when we look back at it, some of his performance, I mean, as we said it last year, just legendary status. He retained his humility and his dignity in his quest for winning a championship. He didn't run away when it got tough in Dallas, when they had disappointments. He kept grinding away, grinding away, being a great teammate, a great player. And, and then, you know, to see him finish it off was a, a great moment. Haslam hits the jumper. Jan Nahimi has it stripped. Here comes Cole. Cole, nice crossover. Puts it up and off the mark. Nearly tipped in. Howard on the second effort. you got to convert better than that if you're Dallas. Cardinal inside to Nahimi. Knocked away by James. Such quick hands from the Heat defensively. Eight turnovers for Dallas. As James powers his way in and draws the foul. James hearing the booze, but nothing like last year all season. It really was something that was so foreign to him. He'd always been one of the most popular players in the NBA in the world, for that matter. And then became villain number one in the NBA last season. It says he's putting it all behind again. The entire team to a man says last year strengthened them. I know it's, it's the easy thing to say and the right thing to say, but they did go through a lot as a team, and they felt it did make them stronger. But this whole thing, like him being the villain, prevented them from winning. They, they were up 15 in the fourth quarter of game two. Did, was that when the villain part hurt him? I don't think that had anything to do with the results on the floor. Way the finish. What a split of the pick and roll. Very few people can go to their weak hand and then split. Wade went left to right. Levitsky. Terry, good look for three. Terry's third field goal, his first three-pointer. And the Mavericks back within 10. And Novitsky's growth as a passer from when he first came in the league, it's just amazing how much better a passer as Jones knocks in a three. I think Jones learned to count by threes when he was a kid. Because <laughs> he rarely shoots twos, and he just is a knockdown three-point shooter to spread the floor for Wade and James. Left open again, knocks down another one. James Jones, one year back in 08, he was third in the NBA in three-point shooting. The Miami native now in his fourth year with the Heat. He's healthy, won a couple of years where he had some wrist problems, but he's given Miami a 16-point lead here on the second. Nice feed inside for Wade. Rifle pass. Nowitzki operating. Forces it blocked by Wade. The defense continues to impress. James to Bosch and the finish. Boy, that's a nice-looking fast break. To block it, bust out on the dribble, find James who touches it to Bosch. Tremendous fast break basketball. And this is the... Largest lead of the afternoon. James Fowl going to the basket. The lead is ballooned to 26. We're just under four minutes remaining here in the first half. And we we're talking about their quickness and athleticism here as Novitsky drives baseline. They shut off the paint and then still have the ability to close to the perimeter, deflect, and then they're off to the races. Same thing here. The steal, but look at James in the middle of the lane. Three or four hard driving steps puts him way ahead 
of the Mavs, and the Mavs really aren't giving maximum effort in transition. When you're playing against a team with this athleticism, you have to balance the floor and you have to be in a dead sprint as we see the numbers for Wade and James. As James easily hits that jumper. Now, I've never seen him take that shot in the post. I've seen him play with the, his back to the basket, but never face up, create a little bit of space, and just shoot over a defender without taking a dribble. Kid rattles in a three. James quickly down the other end and draws the foul. Took him about four seconds to get down the floor. 21-point halftime lead. How were you guys able to make that first half look so easy? Uh, it's not easy at all. We're just flying around helping each other defensively, and uh, we're able to get stops and we're able to execute offensively. And you guys are dominating the board, something that you did not do last season. What's been the key to that? Uh, we know coming into the game, it's a very good uh, shooting team, and it's going to be a lot of a lot of offensive rebounds at times. They miss shots, and all five guys got to get in and help each other defensively and get the, and clean up the rebounds. So uh, that was a point of emphasis, and it's good to see that we're doing that so far. Merry Christmas. All right, Merry Christmas to you too, Lisa. This isn't the same team either. I, I think we, we have to stop with the defending. They're not defending. This is not the same team. You take away Chandler. You take away Stevens, Stevenson, and you take away the great penetration of Berea. It's a totally different team. Would you say overall teams like the Heat with almost the main core in the rotation intact, teams like, say, of Philadelphia, Oklahoma City that didn't make many changes, do they have a huge advantage to start the year? Oh, absolutely. The same core of players and the same coaching staff. When you put both of those together, as Wade makes a very nice left-handed shot, you put both of those together, you have a really good opportunity to get off to a fast start. And that fast start in a shortened season is incredibly important. It gives you a cushion in case you run into an injury later in the season. Marion poked away. Boy, Chalmers, quick hands. Wade releases, and another layup off a turnover. And Rick Carlisle not happy with the effort. Calls the timeout, a 7-0 run, and now the new largest lead of the afternoon. Again, let's give total credit to Miami as James is just laser sharp right now to how ready they are. Obviously, you want your guys to play together, especially a new team like Dallas, to kind of get comfortable with each other, get in rhythm with each other. But at the same time, when you've got so many games in so many days or back-to-back-to-backs as Terry gets inside, guys not... 100% conditioning wise when do you sit guys down and when do you have them play through certain situations? Well, I don't know if there is a right or wrong answer as James makes a difficult Fadeaway to the baseline. I think you just have to know your team But right now I like Rick Carlisle playing his guys even though they play tomorrow they, They've got to get some work in five on five and Miami is just swarming defensively. Chalmers, alley up. James, oh, what a play to Wade. It was defended well initially by Sean Marion, and James adjusted for another gorgeous assist. James touches it to Wade. Just very good anticipation and vision by James. Yikes. Way jump shot is good. You know, it has been emotional for Lamar Odom recently. He did not want to leave Los Angeles, then heard of the trade. He loved it in L.A. And even though he said he's going to put it behind him and likes where he is here, as James knocks down another shot, you can tell that he was hurt by not being there anymore. And remember what gave Miami a little bit of problem last year. Oh, my. Oh, nice spin. And a goal 10. Carter, I don't think that was going to go in. I don't think so, but that was sure a nice move. Alley -oop. LeBron James with another pretty pass. Joel Anthony, the recipient. Rob City. <laughs> That's in the call in LA. As James hits another difficult shot. And that ends the third quarter. Miami, a blowout performance. LeBron James, 33 points, eight rebounds, and six assists. Terry. Carter trying to tip it, and Haslam comes away. How about Haslam? Off the bench, 14 rebounds in 28 minutes. James spins, drives, hits, and foul. James, 35 points now, Jeff. Wow, and just bully ball. <laughs> just spinning off West body and then taking on the second defender. 
contorting his body. Wade momentarily quiets the crowd. And that will do it. The final score not even close to how indicative a blowout it was. Great start for the Miami Heat. They defeat the Mavericks 105-94. A festive move. Here in Los Angeles, Kobe Bryant at age 34, leading the NBA in scoring. His team still a game under 500. One of those losses this year came to Carmelo Anthony and the Knicks earlier this season at Madison Square Garden. Anthony number two in the NBA, right behind Bryant as they get set to square off for the second time this season. Again, Gasol being guarded by Chandler. Kurt Thomas is on Dwight Howard, and having those two guys on the floor, Jeff, has altered Mike Woodson's thinking about had a match up with him to start. It is. He didn't want Carmelo Anthony being guarded or guarding Pal Gasol early due to foul trouble. And now Darius Morris guarding Carmelo Anthony. That's a size and strength mismatch. Well, you've got a lot of old geezers out of the floor. We've got four of the six oldest players in the NBA in this game as Anthony hits the shot and the foul and a chance for a three-point play. Anthony, by the way, leads the NBA in first quarter points. He averages 10 points per first quarter. Part of the reason they get off to such great starts. Gasol, nice pass to Bryant. Howard looking to help. Thomas the baseline, and then Kurt Thomas two for two. 40 years old and still knows how to play. Anthony just fires on the three. He's having a career year so far from downtown. Bryant's jump shot, nails the two-pointer. And the Lakers now with a 7-0 run. Kurt Thomas fakes, Kurt Thomas shoots, and once again, Kurt Thomas hits. He's three for three. Bryant gets it, finds the jumper, and banks it in. Bryant goes back door on Anthony. Oh, beautiful reverse from Kobe Bryant. And the Lakers have tied the game. Anthony had Duhon on him, wanted to take advantage. He's been short on most of his early shots. Now he's guarding Gasol. Help defense there from Chandler. And the ball tipped in nicely by Bryant. Bryant playing the small forward to start tonight. Ten points here in the first period. Bryant gets it side. Count it and one. Felton and Meta World Peace exchanging some words. Seems to be friendly, however. Meanwhile, Kobe Bryant with a chance for a three-point play. And when Kobe Bryant's isolating, you can't miss this help if you're Carmelo Anthony and just put your hand in there, put your whole body and make him kick it out to Chris Duhon and two bigs on the weak side. Those numbers also don't tell who you're playing with a lot of time. This one for the six steal, and Kobe Bryant looks at him as if to say, what are you doing? Ball deflected by Raymond Felton. I was going to ask you about Howard, you know, the premier defensive player in the game, as Carmelo Anthony knocks that down. And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, don't, don't catch and let him get his feet set. Catch and make your decision quickly. That time, he just raised up and knocked in the short jump shot. Bryant posting up, gets inside. Count it. With Kobe Bryant, he's got 15. And I like this move by Mike D'Antoni as Carmelo Anthony comes off the staggered screen to get a two-pointer. To not start Darius Morris on him, but to start world peace right away so Anthony doesn't get a rhythm. Ashes Florida won't go. There's a head coach at Golden State who was fairly effective on that shot. Jason Kidd wide open. Nails a three-pointer, his second of the game. And a quick start for the Knicks here in the third. On the pull-up jumper, Carmelo Anthony two for two to start here in the third period, much like he started in the first half and then went a bit cold with all the physical defense. Carmelo Anthony from downtown and the Lakers need timeout. Ten straight points by the Knicks, and Anthony three for three as New York now with the largest lead by either team here this afternoon. Plays through a lot of injuries and banged up stuff as Carmelo Anthony knocks down another. Anthony red hot here in this third quarter. He's got 12 points in the period, Knicks up nine. And Kevin Durant, I would call him my friend too, so I'm proud of him too because He's a pretty good player. Didn't you guys get in a scrap a couple of years ago, a verbal scrap? No, I don't believe so. No? Bryant for three. Gasol goes to block. You need somebody to put a body on Chandler, be it Nash or be it one of the other perimeter players as Bryant knocks in another tough runner. Shot clock is at seven, though. Anthony drives on Gasol to the basket, finishes nicely. 
17 third quarter points, now 27 for the game. Bryant to the basket, count it, and a foul! We're at 2.6 and a technical foul call against the Knicks. You know, I like how competitive defensively J.R. Smith has grown into. Bryant with one Nick in front of him, one behind him. And the Nick lead cut to one again. Anthony to the basket. Oh, beautiful adjustment from Carmelo Anthony. When we had a wired on him. He was wired from birth to score. <laughs> Now this guy's a natural-born scorer. I mean, the, the array of shots he's got. Shot clock down to three. Bryant, one dribble. Head fake. Smith hammers him to make sure the shot doesn't go up. Bryant takes a little exception to it, but walks away. They just are playing with a greater sense of passion, the Lakers are. Even when they were down in Golden State as Bryant knocks it in again. Well, this is a nice little action that the Knicks run as well. A little high post split into a screen by Howard that frees up Bryant for the easy pull-up. Lakers up three. Well, Kobe Bryant doesn't have an assist today, so we're going to say he assists his team in scoring and making these difficult shots. Into the third, driving it, taking the bump, and then attacking the double team, going around Novak into the tough pull-up. Very efficient, 13 for 21. Ninth consecutive game that Bryant has hit the 30-point mark. That's the most anybody at his age has ever done. Nash lobs it into Bryant. Bryant inside, lays it in. This is the largest lead of the afternoon for the Lakers. Anthony, one dribble, fires, connects. 31 for Carmelo Anthony. Nick's trying to take the ball out of Kobe Bryant's hands. Pau Gasol, he's in double figures. Lead back up to five. Anthony with five to shoot, one dribble, pulls up. And a foul call. World Peace is upset. He better be careful. He's fouled out of the game. Six to shoot. Kid trying to deny Kobe Bryant. They double team. Get it out to Gasol. Gasol drives down the lane and finishes. Powell Gasol powers it home. And the Lakers with a season high five game winning streak. They defeat the Knicks 100 to 94. A fun duel between Kobe Bryant and Carmelo Anthony. Bryant with 34, same as Carmelo Anthony. Today, the Chicago Bulls visit the Oklahoma City Thunder on the NBA Christmas Special, presented by State Farm. Great to have you with us in Oklahoma City on Christmas Day 2015, continuing this great tradition of the NBA on Christmas Day on ABC. QB, although they've lost three in a row, they're 15 and 11. They've beaten the Cavs, they've beaten the Thunder, and they've won at the Spurs to start this season. Well, Mike, they struggle against the sub-500 teams. They're six and four. But the big thing right now in this game, you have to understand that Oklahoma City averages 170 a game. They're second in shooting percentage, but the Bulls are number one in field goal percentage against at 41%. Lazy, sloppy pass by Miritich. And the foul here near midcourt. Rose is short, got it back. And after missing his first three, Derrick Rose on the board. First field goal. There he is. Westbrook takes it away from Rose. Accelerates to the basket. Got bumped by Derrick. And a foul is called. Everybody okay as those two speedy point guards collide and go in different directions. Gibbs trying to set the screen. Rose put on the moves and he got fouled by Robertson with the Thunder now over the limit halfway through the quarter. A foul on Chicago, by the way, was on Gibson, his first. Durant the other way. Now let me tell you, that was a great steal, a deflection by once again Westbrook. That's the third time now yes. that he has started a break. Yeah, I thought we'd see more of that. See, there's no way that Rose can take him any time that there's a clear out, Mike, to take him down into the post. Baca knocks, knocks that one down and misses it. And Rose back the other way. Once he said it, Hoiberg brought him in. They talked about it. Rose on the reverse, got it to go. And the good news for them, Hubie, is they had a couple days off. So they had some practice time. So they had time to meet and do film sessions. And Fred feels that was very therapeutic with this whole group. Durant, out of the timeout, gets the layup. Kevin has 14 of the Thunder 33. 16 for Durant. They were holding him down earlier. 31% was the shooting a moment ago. But Kevin Durant is 6 of 8 from the field. The rest of the team is 7 of 30. A great pass by Durant. 
As he got Westbrook cutting baselines. So you got to give it up. You got a three on all. Butler took it from Westbrook. Nice. And Rose with the layup, and the Bulls have their largest lead of this Christmas day. Ibaka, nice job playing that screen and roll aggressively. Pretty. The bounce pass to Westbrook. Yeah, and it should have been a foul. Westbrook is really upset. Might be close to a technical now. Mike Tirico, Hubie Brown, Chris Broussard with you. Christmas Day in Oklahoma City. Kevin Durant with 19 points. Trying to bring the Thunder back. Snell, no. terrible pass, taken away by Westbrook. Westbrook all the way, one on four, and one, Russell Westbrook. Westbrook lob, Ibaka, finish. Now you can't allow that. You've stopped that through the whole first half. Nice. He's trying to get going, and Derrick Rose with the high finish off the window over Adams. Well, he definitely answered the challenge here right now. We know that he's now four for ten, but he's going to the rim strong. Rose going to work in the paint for two. Derrick Rose's free field goal percentage in the paint has been low. Hubie, it's confidence that he can take the contact and finish at the rim. Mike, what he did right there was when he came over that pick and roll, he came right back and split the defenders, and that was a strong semi hook in the paint. There is Rose feeling it to start this third quarter. He has three field goals. Durant catching at the free throw line. Can't get stop it. that. I don't care who you are. You're not going to do anything with that. There's no doubt about it. Westbrook, the attack to the basket. And the foul on the block on the Bulls. I think they got McDermott inside. Saw a 14-point lead go down to two. Got it back up to 14, and Gasol rattled that one out. Big thing for Chicago is just continue your defense. You're keeping them out on the perimeter. Now that's a tough shot. Five field goal, five turnover third quarter. Leaves the Thunder down 18. Westbrook and Durant will start the fourth together. And you know, if any two guys can pull their team back, it is that dynamic duo. Well, Billy hit it right on the head, though. You have to defend. You have, you have to. So, look at this. Another steal. Westbrook took it away from Rose. Durant attacks the basket. And one! Well, that's the way you want to start. That's Russell Westbrook's sixth steal in this game. And then once again, who's out on the break with him? Durant. Rose on the attack. Doug McDermott. Got them all. A three for Doug McDermott, who scored 3,150 points in his college career. You'd like it because he's getting minutes this year. It's in cement. Without Dunleavy at that position, it's open for him to get minutes and shot attempts. The incredible fierce attack by Russell Westbrook gets him to the basket. Rose goes inside, makes that one off the window, and Hubie the Bulls maintain a big lead. Morrow, triple, got them all! Timeout, Bulls! Westbrook to some open space, over Gibson! It's a six-point game! Rose, contact, and draws the foul on Cantor with 37 and a half left. And Derrick Rose will come to the line to add to a seven-point lead. And the Chicago Bulls, for their dips, for their mini-controversy, Hubie, they will say something at Christmas that most teams can't say. They've beaten Oklahoma City twice. So Bryant went immediately to the basket. Now he gets it again, works off a screen, works outside, and a little fall away is good. So Shaq was right there, and then Kobe with that fall away to tie the game. Uh, they started both plays the same. There goes Shaq, and how do you stop him? Well, the only way you stop him is if the coach did not call his number out. Now Bryant from outside, three-pointer goes. Kobe has not been shooting well this year. Only 31% from three-point land, but bangs this one home. And the Lakers are up by four. Well, I had a chance to speak one-on-one -on -one with Shaquille O'Neal before the game, and I asked him how he was going to or if he was going to address Kobe Bryant. He simply shook his head no and said, I don't need to talk to him. I said, what if he extends an olive branch to you? He said, I have nothing planned. I won't do anything crazy. I'll be cordial and classy as always. Al, Shaq made it clear he would not initiate the communication today. And he didn't, and we saw it. He walked out. Odom was the first guy to see him, and a couple of other guys came into the mix. Kobe actually moved in the direction of Shaq, and they exchanged elbows or forearms or whatever. But Shaq looked straight over the top of his head. Now Bryant again from three, and Kobe Bryant. As I say, he's been very cold this season. He's averaging less than 40% from the field and 31 from the three-point land. Makes one again. Well, you can see great players always rise to the occasion when it is a big game. And he's off to a terrific start. Udonis Haslam misses. Chris Mim, who yanked down 21 rebounds the other night against the Hornets.
with it. And here goes Bryant again from three. Whoa, baby. Well, that's a pretty good little early statement. Wade feeds O'Neal, and then O'Neal missed, got it back, puts it in. I want to tell you, the big fellas work. Remember, the Lakers also talked to Pat Riley, the Miami president, about coming back to coaching as Min puts it in. And then the job was offered, you recall, to Mike Krzyzewski at Duke. And he thought about it for a couple of days. No. Bryant starts to get doubled right now. Jones on him. Gets the screen from Mim and hits again. And that's another three-pointer. And that's the first time in Kobe Bryant's now nine-year career he has hit four three-point shots in the first quarter. Rasul Butler from outside is short. Kobe Bryant is back in the game. Bryant Grant is in the game for the first time. Kobe goes all the way to the hoop and runs into guess who? And uh, foul. That was an excellent move by Bryant. Well, Grant has missed 13 games the Tech Knights. And that one goes, and Grant, who's been into the game now for 31 seconds, no chance for them. Well, he, he, he gave him a drop shoulder out to the right. Oh, oh yeah. You knew that was coming. Yes, yes. That's the first time today that Shaq has moved up to the foul line area. Now, Brian, Kobe started the game very hot then cooled off. And Brian right now, by far the leading scorer for the Lakers. He's played 18 minutes and he has 20 points. It's Damon Jones. Shaq turned around, goes in. You can double team him, but if you give him that baseline turn, he's going to shoot up over the top here. Brian goes in. And then gets fouled by Eddie Jones underneath. Every time that Kobe Bryant is involved with a screen that Shaq is defending, Kobe can turn the corner. Feeding Shaq again. Backing up on them. Again, the turnaround. And this one goes with little help. So twice now, O'Neal has made that move and scored. Well, what we like about that, you know, you start one way with your offense and then you come back the other way, and that forces Shaq into a one on one situation. And you know what that is. Kobe connects. So Kobe started the game, made three early three-pointers, made four of them in the first quarter. Eddie Jones guarding Bryant. David Jones ready to come over and help, so Kobe launches that. That was nothing but net. Bryant, good spin move, reverse spin move to the other side, and from the baseline, knocks it down to make it a six-point. Los Angeles little six on the shot. Leaves Anderson in the dust. Oh. Oh. Now you could hear the moaning now behind us. Yep. They were moaning. Yep. Pass the ball. Give it up. Yep. What a great move. Oh. Oh. Long two. <laughs> O'Neal, left hand just doesn't go. But Leitner keeps it alive for the heat. Back to shot. There goes Atkins and Shaq with the block. Good block, clean. Ten seconds on the shot clock now. O'Neal, three on the timer. Tied up. You gotta love it. The, the big fella has an incredible touch. Shaq, scoop shot. Oh. A little scoop by O'Neal, and that's 22 points for Shaquille. Bryant, isolated. Not on purpose, I wouldn't think you no. Wade, 21 to go to shot, 22. And Ryan gets fouled by O'Neal, and that's going to be a fifth personal foul. All the way, but a foul on his way to the basket. Yeah, and, and a little talking. And a little talking. Bryant seeking his 40th point. Got a couple of fortuitous bounces, and L.A. is up by a deuce. Eddie Jones. Right now, over the top goes O'Neal, and Tom Janum is just saying, come on! I'll tell you what, he has a good complaint there, Al. Odom tries to dish it off to mid, they get lucky as Jones saves it. And then Tom Janum and you've got a Shaquille O'Neal with a foul. And the place erupts as Shaquille O'Neal has fouled Go now. Hey, wait a 
it too long. He waited long. Wade. Takes the shot. Right outside. Missing. And we go to overtime. Jumaine Jones to inbound. Bryant gets double. Kobe Bryant. Amazing that it didn't go in the way with his history and all of the drama and this whole day. And so for Kobe Bryant, he has the one chance at the end. Can't make it go down. And Shaquille O'Neal and the Miami Heat have won 11 straight games. As Kobe is launching that three at the very end of that first overtime, what are you thinking? I knew that it wasn't going to go in because uh, my team came out and they played well. I fouled out. I felt I let them down a little bit, but... Uh, uh, Flash Eddie Jones told me they had it. And that's all we wanted to do, come here and win. You know, we're not trying to score 50 or 60 points and try to outdo anybody. No, we just want to play good team ball, and that's what we did. The city of Boston a glow at night, and welcome everyone to TD Garden for the Sixers and the Celtics. Those two teams conjure up images and names of some of the great rivalries ever to play in the NBA. Russell, Chamberlain, Irving, Bird, and a lot of anticipation here today on Christmas night as the Celtics take on the 76ers. Welcome to an NBA Christmas special presented by State Farm, continuing tonight from Boston. Philadelphia leading by four, just underway here on Christmas night here in Boston. Second meeting of the season between these two teams. Nice. Kyrie Irving over Reddick. A couple of Duke guys going head to head. Yeah, I like that. Because you think that he, this guy's got the total package. <laughs> He's got the three game, the mid range game, lefty, righty, you name it. Simmons pushing the tempo. Been a quiet first few minutes for Jimmy Butler. And he misfires on that mid range jump shot. Well, you have to get back here now. Oh, they caught him napping. He hit the snooze button. The one guy you have to worry about on a missed shot is Tatum. He gets out quick. And it's amazing how many times they'll hit him and there'll be no defender in the sight. Tatum back the other way for the Boston Celtics. A stare down three is short. Gonna try it again. Irving got look the rebound. Look Great this. hustle by Kyrie Irving. Now right now, you're, you're upset. If you're coaching Philadelphia, you're upset. Why? Because your player who was guarding Tatum left him and started on the fast break, but you didn't get the rebound yet. It costs you a second chance opportunity. Butler on Irving. This should be a nice matchup to watch. Irving with the left-handed scoop. Got it to go. He was in his bag. This guy plays the glass. I say it every time we do a game. It's better <laughs> than anyone in this league. Left hand, right hand. Once he gets down below that foul line, you're in trouble. Celtics with their first lead of the ball game, 16-15. Irving, without hesitating, drills it. Butter. That was an outstanding staggered screen on the left side of the floor. And Riddick got caught on the second screen. Here's Butler. Mid-range jumper way off. Butler trying to find his rhythm 0 for 4 right now. Yeah, he's getting good looks. Irving got it. Uh, doesn't matter. You can be a big guy and you can be a shot blocker. But even you think you're going to get him, he'll find a way to play the glass. Irving. Yes. Easy. Just effortless. As soon as he comes off that screen, if you're nowhere there, he's pulling up. If you ride up and try to play him, he'll try to go baseline on you. Here's Jalen Brown, perhaps the guy that's been impacted more than anybody with everybody returning to full health. Irving. Man, he's got it stuck on automatic here in the first quarter. Well, did you like the fake? Come on, a little <laughs> fake there and just fade back on it. That's one of the toughest shots in basketball, the mid-range shot from the basket to the sideline. Irving, still hot. Tice at seven feet, cut him off, but the fade, the fade over the top. Five on the clock for Chandler, eyes the three. And Tice clears. Here's Smart. Tice wasn't waiting for it. They didn't draw it up that way, but they'll take it anyway. Why not? Well, we tell you that early on, he's shooting at 41% in the three ball. Having a great game. Irving oh, nice. kept Reddick on his back. Yeah. Boy, that was a clinic. Well, that's what the great ones can do. They come off the screen. And if they, know, they know that they have a half a step on the man. They cut in front of him to keep him on the back. And then if you double team, they hit the free guy underneath. Otherwise, they got the floater. Oh, and they still can't get a handle on Kyrie Irving. 
He read that great. See, when he comes off that screen, any time that he gets a, a help with a screener, he'll read after that first bounce whether he goes all the way or a, a short pickup. Simmons inside. Uh, now, who knocked the ball away? Irving. Mm. Irving on the double team. And the 11th turnover for Philadelphia. Irving up hot. Nice. And up top to Horford. Yeah, good timeout. Excellent defensive plays. Up. Wow. Kyrie's back. He was one for five since halftime. They got to get him going. Pins the man on his back, plays the glass. Beautiful play. Muscala for mid-range. So he's, he's really having a tough night. Right now, he's one for eight in the game. Rozier for three. Yes. What a shot in the arm he's been. Rick Brown calls timeout. Oh, and Kyrie got open underneath uh, and made them pay. Not only that, but he shoots it over a six foot eight guy. Mm. As he makes the catch below his waist, he was quick enough to get the fade off. They screen Butler. Irving got into the lane. Uh, Butler seemed so to get a piece of it. Now the hesitation. The hesitation got the step. And that's when he hesitated, Butler was coming, and then he made that big step, caught him. Butler out to Embiid, thought about the three, two on the clock. Rebound, Chandler blocked by Tatum. Wow, what a play. Irving off a couple of screens. Into the paint again. They forced the miss. I played him well. That was a tough shot. Butler in transition. Back to Chandler. In rhythm. Why not? Oh, oh, Wilson man. Chandler. Not Butler, not Embiid, not Simmons, but Chandler with the big bucket. Butler with dogged defense on Irving. Kyrie kept his dribble alive. Tough shot. Uh, Uncle Drew uh, with another one. Let me tell you. That was a raindrop. What a tough shot. Butler was right on top of him. The Sixers can get the last one. Tied at 108. Simmons out front. Guarded by Morris. Reddick for the lead. And we're going to go to overtime. Nice. Tatum inside. Beautiful. But the ball reversal by Horvath at the top of the circle. And then Morris not forcing anything. He allowed that to open up and then made the pass. And Bede, slick pass inside. Simmons blocked. Got it back. And out to Chandler. See, Tatum with the board. That's a bad missed opportunity. The lob. Hayward. And the finish. In this league, you miss an e opportunity at a layup. The team scores in three to four seconds. Why? I have no idea, <laughs> but it happens all the time. Hayward left it short on the rim. He had good, good movement, though. Good shot. He showed a lot of explosiveness on that previous play. Foul on Tatum. That's all right. You say that's a wrap-up. Force him to make the foul shots. Irving for three. Yes! And the lead. I really like that. The way they set that up by getting Tatum on the right-hand side of the floor. Irving then had the screen by Horford. He could have done a number of things. Butler. One on the clock. They got to shoot it. Reddick forced to throw one up. Good move, Bobby. Good luck out here. Irving for three. Wow! Oh, wow. Uncle Drew strikes again. Simmons with a head of steam. Missed a wild one. Oh, that, that didn't even touch him. There Tatum. Up and down they go. Frantic. Remember, remember what I said? You missed the layup at one end of the floor. Now that would have been a hard yeah. driving layup. Within three to four seconds, there they are on the line. Tatum knocks down both. The Boston Celtics win their second in a row. Defeating the 76ers to remain perfect in overtime this year. These two teams have shared this court as their home court since it opened back in 1999 as Kawhi Leonard line drive jumper is good. Davis right now picks up Leonard on the switch. Kawhi Leonard a three-pointer. That's good. 
Kawhi Leonard falling away, nails the jumper. Oh, that's a tough task. That's just one on one, Kawhi Leonard against Danny Green. As Leonard gets inside once again, not that time, but using that left hand to chip it in. Leonard. Double figures already, and there's still two and a half to play here in the first. Leonard averaging 25 and a half per game. Kawhi Leonard answers right back with his second three pointer. Well, that's the Hold second on. time. You're praising somebody for knowing how many team fouls? Kuzma gets inside, blocked by George. Knocked it off the backboard, and Patterson will have a dunk down the other end. George finds Leonard. Leonard backs in, falling away is good. 18 for Kawhi Leonard. Nice feed inside. Zubats to finish. Beautiful pass from Leonard. Leonard tries to answer and does. His third three-pointer. Look at that handle, but stripped by Leonard. Leonard drives inside. Back to Zubats. Blocked for the foul. Count it and one. Jamet sees an opening. Kicks it out. There's Green. Extra pass. Leonard. Open look for three. His fourth three-pointer, he's got 24. Kawhi Leonard hit on his way to the basket. Congratulations to Michael Malone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Kawhi well Leonard, well-deserved. Absolutely. Leonard ties the game. Kawhi Leonard drills a three, and we're even at 101. Well, George Harrell on the tip-in, and it's tied yet again. Davis stolen by Lou Williams. Williams ahead of the pack. Lays it, oh, he missed it! He missed the layup, but a whistle. I don't like that call, but it's for me, so I'm all with it. And it overlooks Lou Williams got to make that layup. Leonard looking to post up his Raptors teammate. And a foul on Danny Green. An 11-point turnaround here in the fourth. Clippers trail by seven earlier in the period. Now a four-point advantage. Anthony Davis, jumper, it's good. He's got 24, Leonard. And Green overzealous, and they're in the penalty. They've hit all eight of their free throws here in the fourth quarter. Coach, you don't have to go for three. You just have to get a good look. And James is fouled on his way to the basket. Misses the second one. Leonard hauls in the rebound, and Doc Rivers calls timeout. Williams as Kuzma pulls back three-pointer. In and out, and Caruso the rebound. Six seconds remaining. James step back, knocked out of his hands, deflected out of bounds. And the Lakers will call timeout. And it is changed. Clipper ball. Patrick Beverly. What a spectacular defensive play in a big moment. Chicago Bulls have won their last two and five of the last six in their last game Wednesday beat the Bullets here in Chicago 107 98 a game that saw Michael Jordan hit for 57 points and he was connecting with the three pointers six of eight from downtown now Jordan from long range so the game is tied at two well no question than that paid off michael coming out stroking it right from the beginning armstrong and jordan in the backcourt grant cartwright pippin up front here is jordan yes the knicks six the bulls four the knicks allow under 92 points per game that counts at a foul the basket counts and the foul is called on on Charles Smith, Blackman, met by Jordan as the Bulls isolate. Jordan swings in and hits, and through the foul. What a move by Michael Jordan. Bulls 12, Knicks 10, pressure by Jordan, bothering Blackman. But Jordan is called for a foul, and he is upset. And well, he should be, because that time, Blackman just was struggling. There was no way he was going to get away from Michael Jordan. And we saw in the NBA Championship Series last year, when he wants to get after the basketball, he's as good as anyone playing people off the dribble. That time, Michael wanted the 10-second violation. Pat Riley has such tremendous flexibility with this basketball team. Now going with Blackman as a small forward. It enables Starks to come in, get warmed up, and then he can substitute in the backcourt. 
Michael Jordan with nine points. The Bulls shot only eight of 25 for 32 percent, while the Knicks shot well in particular the latter stage of the quarter. Jordan getting inside. The Knicks now lead by the score 29 to 21. Pippen. Tony Pippen with his second field goal. He has four. The Knicks 31. And the Bulls 23. You know, when you look at the roster changes they made as Michael Jordan knocks down a jumper, they lost Levingston, Bobby Hansen, and Hodges. That group gave him energy, gave him toughness. You see all the small things in the execution of New York. The ball fakes one dribble, improve the position, and the spacing on the court offensively. Here's McBray. It will count, and a foul. Usually, the, uh, the strip, or the end of the strip is supplied, depending on what uh, the result is. As Jordan draws the foul, the Knicks come out with the long layoff and, and play well, and, and when people say, well, they had all this rest. Jordan putting the moves on Blackman. Yes. So here are the Bulls, although they have not played well, within six points, Jordan. Pat Riley walks a 20. The Knicks lead is down to four. Jordan guarded by Blackman. Jordan. Yes. And Michael back to psyching himself. Had a little conversation with himself at midcourt. Knicks led by as many as 14. But the Bulls have come out with a surge. And the Knicks cannot hit. Michael Jordan. So Michael has turned it around from the 6 of 18 in the first half. And he's given Chicago the lead. Ewing jumping out on a switch. Chicago with the ball down by one. McCray providing a one-point lead. For the ball about answering the call. The Knicks certainly needed that basket. They bring Blackman off the bench, and he answers. And he's not really warm yet. Michael Jordan right back, providing the balls with a 70 64 advantage. Jordan, oh, he feels it. Did him in front of the Knicks bench as he took some grief some, from someone on the bench. Knicks winning in New York back in November by 37. Pippen off the steal. Here's Jordan. And Michael Jordan, after he comes the ball, took it and tossed it at Craig Anthony. He's the guy that's been mouthing off at Jordan. Michael not real happy about it. Michael has not been a great fan of three Knicks in particular. Greg Anthony, John Starks, and Anthony Mason. Referring to those three, said those guys are unbelievable. They're three of the cockiest guys in the league, and they've only been in the league for... Two years, they've still got a lot to prove. That in a uh, piece of New York Newsday written by Jan Hubbard. Starks missed the stop. Next trailing by seven. The steal by Jordan. And it was pushed by Ewing, who lands up in the lap of Santa Claus. <laughs> well, Jordan anticipates, backs off, and gets a hand in the passing lane. There was a little help from Patrick Ewing. Michael gets the chance to meet Santa himself today. 50 seconds to go, fourth quarter. Jordan, yes! Bulls 82, the Knicks 75, Jordan has 37. After the last encounter between these two teams when New York beat them so soundly, the question still remains as Michael Jordan goes down and finishes it off. How good are these Knicks? Because they still were struggling on the road, four and six away from home. Again, they come in here and cannot beat Chicago in the stadium. Yes, a message delivered by the defending NBA champion, Chicago Bulls. Michael Jordan, the high man, with 42 on 15 of 34. The Houston Rockets coming off the loss on Saturday night in San Antonio, losing to the Spurs 110 to 95. Spurs shot 52 percent of that game. Here's Ellie for three. Murray Ellie from downtown. You can see the surprise on Akeem's face when he saw that he was being guarded one on one by Shaq. His eyes lit up. He didn't know what to do. Horace Grant for the rebound. Minute and a half gone by. Rockets.
Nuggets with a 3-2 lead. Second half of our NBA doubleheader. Grant able to recover. And the Magic up by one. Earlier was San Antonio defeating Phoenix 105-100. So the Spurs are now 17-7. and They're a game behind the Rockets. Elijah Wan with a beautiful baseline touch. Well, that one would not have mattered had a double team come. That's a King's favorite shot. That's spin away on the baseline. O'Neal able to fight off the box out by Elijah Wan who claims that he was fouled. Well, there's all kinds of contact in there, but when Shaq throws that 330, maybe 340 pounds now, having missed all that time, bodies will fly. Shaq, uh, Keen looked for help from referee Jess Kersey, got none. 9-7, Orlando. Elijah Wan with the spin, and he's fouled. So Shaquille O'Neal collects his first person. Elijah Wan going to the crossover to set up the jump shot. Came so comfortable facing the basket here. Shaq in transition. And Elijah Wan did not want to pick up the foul. He was back there with him. He made the effort to sprint back. Both Shaq with that kind of position, a wise move on the part of Akeem Elijah Wan giving that one up. Cassell, who just checked in, hits the three. Sam Cassell wasting no time. Five point lead for the Magic. And Akeem Elijah Wan hitting his second. Field goal. Elijah Wan fouled by Conkak. So the team now beginning to show us the spinning repertoire. And here's Shaw. Rebounded by Brown. Elijah Wan. Again, spinning his way and hitting. Hakeem appears to be working his way into the game. Minute 45 gone by in the second. Shaquille O'Neal with his third field goal. He has six points. Shaquille very much back. Still not in position. Great pass to by Shaquille for Wolf. And you hear the reaction. I tried to go for the block and then held back. Elijah Wan, line drives at home. He has 12 points. The Magic 38, the Rockets 33. Elijah Wan, rebounded by Hardaway. Shaw pops it down. to get some perimeter shooting right now. Nothing else is going well for them. As Nick Anderson gets himself a perimeter just up. Ori with Brown and Elijah Wan up front. Smith and Ellie in the backcourt. Akeem Elijah Wan. Pretty move by Akeem. Chucky Brown in his seventh season out of North Carolina State began his Rockets career last year on a 10-day contract. Oh, 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 it's tipped home. by 10. Smith for three. Yes. Three. Kenny Smith. A two run by Houston to get it going here in the third quarter. Good by Akeem. And the Rockets have turned things here in the third. It's down to a five point magic lead and that gets the crowd going. The double on Jaquil finds the open man. Only one of seven from the field in the first half. Able to hit Elijah Watt for Ellen for three. Oh, Rebound. Wow. Elijah Watt. Yes. The Magic 55 and the Rockets 50. Elijah Watt with a head fake. Goes into a series of fakes. And we are now seeing the Akeem that the Magic saw throughout the NBA Finals. He starts into those shake moves. But <laughs> he starts spinning their head. It's amazing he doesn't walk with the ball. He doesn't. He's got terrific form. Orlando 
Foley, hard away to the scoop. Brown stays frustrated as Akeem Olajuwon on fire here in this third quarter. Anderson from way out for three. And rebounded by Cassell. Works his way out of the pack. And goes all the way. Olajuwon on the follow. And the game is tied at 68. They double up on Olajuwon. Open shot for Elliott. Yes. Akeem so adept on the double team of finding the open man. Out of three. Resumes between Shaquille and Akeem. Elijah taking over in the third. And here's O'Neal. With his ninth field goal. He's 9 of 12. He has 20 points. And it's a two point Houston lead. Akeem Elijah on the third quarter. 16 points. 16 of his 28. Along with seven rebounds. Elijah on feeling for O'Neal. Yes. He felt him. It had to feel like a brick wall. He met resistance, but as soon as he felt the body, he knew he could take that long step and shoot his favorite shot. Oh, with the block. Oh, oh, reading Brian Hill's lips, talking to Shaq on the way out to start play, saying, Shaq, we need you on the offensive board, but don't forget, you also have to get back quickly on defense. O'Neal, with a nice pass. And Brian it is Elijah on defending against O'Neal at the other end. Here's Scott for three. And he has tied the game at 90. Elijah on. Here's a key. Wild shot. Not he had in mind. Scott takes it for the Magic. 20 seconds to go. Game tied at 90. No timeout being called. Down of 10. Shot clock. One second differential with the game clock. Hardaway off the dribble. Goes right at Ellie. For the Dallas Mavericks and the Los Angeles Lakers as NBA Christmas Day presented by State Farm continues from the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Fourth game of five matchups on Christmas Day. Here's some pregame sound from the Lakers. Hey, you different. Nah, bro. Hey, that's different. Hey, make sure y'all get a close up on Montrez Harold's shoes now. Montrez Harold's different. You are a DR sports coat. Today. Look at them shoes. I wonder how much the coat costs. I've never seen nobody but a boxer wear shoes. Right. What do you mean? Burrow his shoes. <laughs> Lots of new shoes, as we always have the same tradition on Christmas Day. Yeah, hopefully the Mavericks will be able to, without one of their star players, give a good showing here. Doncic gets inside, kicks it out. Wide open is Finney Smith, and he knocks down the first shot of the game. Alley up inside, Finney Smith on a beautiful feed from Doncic. And Finney Smith, eight points here in the first quarter, and the Lakers need a timeout as the Mavericks come within two. All right, Rachel, and for all the teams, the talk as Doncic gets inside, puts that in. It's about adjustments and learning to deal with all the different things that they've most of them have never experienced. Doncic goes, drives, puts it up, banks it home with five tenths of a second remaining. Doncic to Richardson, goes across the lane, flips it up, shot rolls around, drops through, and a free throw to boot. Caldwell Pope steps into a three. And Doncic the rebound. Doncic banks it home. All right, here's a question for you. When you were dating the great Kim Van Gundy before the marriage, did you get you get gifts from her parents? Oh heck no! I still don't. No, they knew he was the one. They gave him oh. everything. 
There's a quality pass, Doncic to Powell, who throws it down. Doncic with his fourth assist. Doncic quickly scores the other way. So right now, Dallas, no answers for the Laker offense. Lakers shooting 65% from the field. They've hit 10 of 20 from downtown. James gets past Doncic, gets inside, lost it out of bounds, off of his leg. And Doncic again, his ability, the thing that he does, it seems when guys are guarding him, they always seem off balance. Well, to me, it, it's the big body that he has, that once he has you on his hip, it's hard to get back in front. Here, you see Schroeder negotiating the screens and on the crossover, and the footwork he has after he picks up his dribble as well. Mark, from, from a point guard vision stuff, what, what blows you away about, about this young man? Well, he, he doesn't miss a play, and his pass is just like that one on target. He puts it in the pocket, which very rarely guys, especially his size, have that ability. He's a gifted passer. Doncic steps back and hits the three-pointer. Only the second three-pointer he's attempted at this one. And it's his first make. Now 18 points, five assists for Luka Doncic. Doncic to Burke. Burke again. Hits. Trey Burke can score. He can get hot. He's got 14. Nice floater gets up, gets a nice bounce, goes in, and cut to 11. Doncic now picked up by Kuzma. Step back, three-pointers up, rattles in. Luka Doncic now with 23, they needed that. Doncic is the perfect setup for Morjanovic. It's a great read. Keeps Caruso on his back, waits until the help comes, and then delivers an on-point pass. Doncic with a beautiful floater. No doubt. The Lakers, Rob Palinka and his staff, had a terrific offseason. Now, what does that translate to? I don't know, but they're, I mean, it's a supremely talented team. Meanwhile, supremely talented Doncic with some great footwork there. And that will end this one. Rough one for Doncic and the Mavericks as the Lakers, an offensive explosion with some terrific shooting, good balance scoring, and they got that first win of the season. Welcome everyone to NBA Christmas presented by State Farm in this battle between a couple of titans here in the desert in Phoenix. From the Footprint Center, teams with the two best records in the NBA, the Phoenix Suns and the Golden State Warriors. Now out to Green from deep. Steve Kerr's been imploring him to shoot a little bit more, and he knocks down the long ball. Here's Curry with a step back three over Booker, and it's Butter on his first attempt. Otto Porter with the mid-range jumper, and he knocks it down. Yeah, so Otto Porter, he's up to three to start this game, but later you'll see him in the four spot. Or Gary Payton the second with a nice cut off ball. Another possession for Golden State. Curry inside, and he's fouled underneath by Crowder as he tried to get the shot off before he actually landed. What great look by Green, Doris, inside to Looney. 16-12, a high-scoring start here. Curry feeling nice. He hasn't even hit the rim yet. A little give-and-go basketball. Those guys, in the words of Steve Kerr, share the same brain. Curry left that one on the front. Rim, oh! GP2 detonating at the rim. Young Clove with an offensive explosion there. What a great story he's been this year on cue with a layup underneath. Number Assist number five for Draymond Green. Yep. Toscano Anderson in the paint. Got it to go with the sweet left-handed finish. Oh, that's a tough looking drive. Draymond with a great block. He retrieves the loose ball, takes it all the way. Peyton couldn't get the follow. Green knocked it loose. Great hustle by Green. Toscano Anderson. Man, they earned that bucket. The Elitza with a height advantage, and they cash in. Kaminga tried to take the Sun's soul away. The rookie who played last year for the G League's Team Ignite. Weatherspoon with the steal, gets it back, and cashes in with the layup. Off the steal, Curry, Kaminga, and the rookie high flying for the slam. Well, the one thing about Golden State, they want to get to pace. They want to push. What a pass to Cur Curry to Weatherspoon on the baseline. Out to Curry. Launches the deep three. Wow! It's wet! 
Payton with the three ball. You know, he's been shooting it at an increased rate up to 41% now. Payton oh. the second with the three. Mr. Payton getting more and more confident. Green kicks it out to Kaminga. The rookie confident with good reason right now. He makes it a one-point game. Curry's corralled behind the screen. It doesn't matter. Come on. Mark, come on. The, the tightness of the dribble. The, the confidence in traffic. Devin Booker, good hands by Draymond, who knocks it away. Kuminga fouled by Booker. Booker never gave up on the play. Got it with the screen for CP3. Draymond fights over it. They blitz him and get the turnover. Payton the second has Porter, the trailer. And Porter gets it to go. And the Warriors back to within a bucket. Double team inside. Payton finishes wow. in amongst the trees. Step off the screen, inside to Looney. Couldn't finish, but Porter has his back. Out of Porter has done a nice job on the offensive glass today. Curry with a nice ball fake, and Steph Curry makes it 68-66. Porter out to Green, a wide open three. Come on, Drake Jr. <laughs> Come on, you gotta that's be that. more impressed by Whoa. Dad's work than that. Booker trying to make a little noise, and Peyton the second took his cornbread. Peyton on the move. And followed by Looney. Yeah, their, their defense, right, turning you over, putting themselves in positions to be at the cup. Booker on the drive, blocked by Looney. And Gary Payton the second with a loose ball rebound. Looney puts it on the deck impressively. Got the bucket. Wow. People have been sleeping on him for too long, Doris. Chioza confidently steps back. Booker. I like this guy's competitiveness defensively, Leverstein. And he, got, he won that battle, Doris. You called it. He is competitive. Straight line drive in. Bucket by Quindary Witherspoon out of Mississippi State. Here's Curry. There he is with the ball, Doris. Getting all the way to the basket with the left hand. He's got 25. Curry for three. Tough step back. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That thing was in the air so long, it should have had a movie on it. Curry again, probing, picks it out. The Elitza from downtown, and the Warriors heating up. Boy, look at that. Three guys surrounding Curry, and Bialica says, I'll take it. And Steph's willingness to move it on display. And a great cut by Bialica. Bialica, quarter from downtown. Good offense by the Golden State Warriors. Warriors sixth in the NBA in three-point shooting percentage. Oh, a little jelly off glass for Curry. This guy is, an, as Steve says, an offense unto himself. Steph gets a little bit of space. And it's wet, splash down, Steph Curry. And Draymond Green with the rebound. Kaminga inside. Oh, that's no rookie. Jonathan Kaminga underneath. Timeout, Suns. A little step up screen by Looney, Breeze Porter. Great execution for the three by the Warriors. P2 over to Porter, one more to Green. Straight line drive off glass, got it! Over to Jake Crowder, who steps into the three, got it! And Chris Paul lost the dribble. Hurry off the screen by Green. A little float game, a little strong. Back out to Gary Payton, the second, and now Green. Porter fading away on the baseline. Nothing but net for Otto Porter Jr. Booker gives it to Crowder. Made one from that spot earlier and rebounded by the Warriors. Little heat check. Oh! Otto Porter looks at the Phoenix bench and says, I'm not with you guys. Corner jumper a little bit short by Booker, rebounded by Green. They got the stop. Green back to Porter. Heat check, why not? Otto Porter! Looking at the crowd here in the valley saying, you gotta know about me now. Booker at the other end, blocked by Green. The Warriors with another stop. Chris Paul trying to get a little bit back, and it feels like this one might be just about done. Folks, I said it a moment ago, it feels like playoff basketball at the Footprint Center here. It feels like mid-May, a great potential conference finals preview. Otto Porter Jr. has scored a season-high 19, and he was clutch down the stretch. For Steve Kerr and the Golden State Warriors, they stroll into the Footprint Center 
and leave their footprints on the Suns. Exhilarating basketball here this afternoon in Phoenix. Christmas and welcome to the NBA Christmas special the 64th season of Laker basketball Minneapolis and of course Los Angeles set to begin as the Bulls control the tip in their traditional red working to our right Bryant not ready for the Fisher pass Hamilton had given up control so no travel as Noah connects Bryant he got fouled by Hamilton. Okay, Heather, you saw Gary on the bench for the Lakers, his 28th year in that job for him. Here's Bryant to the basket, reversing with the right hand. So there may be a pain threshold to deal with, but there's still a heck of a lot of time. Uh, that's what we've been waiting for. He's been in the paint twice with two turnovers, but that one he was able to get clear to elevate. That's what we want to see. And Gasol down low puts it in. It's not the full triangle offense. No. Mike Brown's bringing some of his principles to it. Bryant, they from the outside, knocks down the outside jumper. Six for Kobe in this first quarter. And Rose hits his first field goal of the season. Nah, he's, he's dynamite when he does that crossover going to his left. Rose, Noah trying to get him cutting. Kept alive right back down the baseline. There goes the MVP, Derrick Rose. How about, how about the elevation there? The ability to gather himself and get up high and play the glass. He plays the glass beautifully. Kobe got to the elbow and now is in double digits. First score with 10 here this afternoon. Right after See, I just knew Kobe was going to be the first guy to double figures. I just got ahead of myself. Yeah, you know what, Mike? As soon as, he, as soon as he saw the switch and he saw that he had Boozer on him, he gave him the move, the jab move, and then stepped back, and it was wide open. Look at this guy. Joker, Joker, and a triple three in a row for Kobe. And the Lakers within one, three and a half left. And just as we said, there'll be ragged stretches. It's the best stretch of basketball we've seen. Rose steps into a three, and that is a big addition to Derrick Rose's game last year. Percentage and volume went up. Dang oh. lost it, Roberts, Ebanks, Kobe. Great play by Bryant. Since Rose let him come by, and our game is tied at 45. Boozer got the friendly bounce. There's a clear out. Here comes your double right away with Noah. So who's open? It's Ebanks. And the second year man out of West Virginia hits the two pointer. Devin Ebanks, who was a second round pick by the Lakers in 2010, squares the game at 47. It's been the best half of basketball of the three games so far. Rose from the top. Got them all. A three for the MVP. One point game, 30 seconds left in the first half the quarter dang hits a three and the Bulls having a good shooting second quarter approximate three second difference game and shot clock here at the end of the half Kobe no rebounded by Boozer the Bulls will go with it Rose dang in flight and a foul that was that was great team play because as Rose passed right in front of us, he checked the clock. And, and then he knew, as soon as he caught the clock, he then looked to the opposite side, and this guy really runs the lane well. Fisher with the quick hands. Kobe on the run out. Look out. by Hamilton. And Rose for a triple. Got them all. Derek Rose. Now think about it. This guy broke in the leg. He shot 22% his first year. 27 is second. Last year at 32. Today, he's three for three behind the line and not hesitating at all. Ryan pushes. Working hard on Hamilton. And a foul call from the outside by Greg Willard on Hamilton. Certainly, it's never that simple. Uh, Lamar went through a big building reprocess with us, helped us get to the finals three times, and helped us win two more trophies. So for that, we thank him. I thank you, Heather. And to Mitch Kupchak as well, championship player, uh, 85. Lakers team. Lakers on an 8-0 run of time this game at 8 at 59. And Derrick Rose breaks the tie. Nice feed from Luol Deng. There are only six players in this league who averaged 10 rebounds last year. Kyle Casal is one. Shot over 50% for you. So naturally, his pride is hurt. And then in the summertime, they win the European Championship again. 
for the second time, you know, back-to-back -back European championship. So naturally, your ego is hurt because he loves the city. He loves the academic side of the city, which really brings out his best. Now, right now, these guys are going and playing terrific defense. They are. The defensive end is turning the game and for the Lakers. Exactly here, right. They came out. Whatever adjustments they talked about inside, they're definitely more physical right now, and they're getting out on the break. It'll run for the Lakers. Rose tries to end oh, it with a triple. Boy, boy. Derek Rose has hit four of those here on Christmas opening day. Rose, a transition triple. The two stars put up uh, no pass shots and get nothing out of it. All Bryant, both trips here. Oh, he gets it and scores. Right. So, I, I like that. He doesn't have to settle for that long jumper. On the one before that, the clock was going down. But he wants to get to the rim, and that's what I like about him. He's not going to stay outside. He's going to take it in, take the contact. Nice. Oh, oh. He cut into the basket. Got it. Great cut. Great cut and an excellent pass. Largest Laker leading the game 11. Rose to the basket. How did he do that? Derrick Rose hit the deck hard, yeah, hit the back yeah, of his he head. Got hurt. He got hurt. He got hit in the head. Devin Ebanks cut baseline. McRoberts rotates it. Shot clock inside of five. Blink of three. Got it. Great ball. Man. Excellent pass by Kobe Bryant. Excellent. Look at Rose. What a pass to Pleaser. Great finish. And after Gasol missed the two free throws, it's a four-point game. That was a nice, strong move. I like the way the Boozer attacked. Josh McRoberts tied to set the screen. Blake goes the other way. They swing it to Kobe. Here he is with 12. And a clear out. He's got a space. Got a spin. Here's Bryant. Oh, what a move. What a move. That was a design play where they clear the side and allow Kobe to go one-on-one -on -one and then one-on-two. What a shot. Here's Coach from the top, on deck, to the floor, to the air. So good, who's got the rebound? Dang squeezes it. Kobe fights at it, and a foul call. Foul call on Bryant with 20.4 left. Two free throws would make it a one-point game with very little time coming off the clock. Big thing is now is the matchup with your man. Look for it, force them to call a timeout. Five in a row for the Bulls. They've tightened this Christmas day game to a one-pointer. Derek Fisher is in for LA. He's in the bottom right of your screen. They get it to Kobe right away. They one trap for the steal. There's it's loose, and they got the steal. Luo Deng with it. He came down, didn't travel. Oh, it throws the MVP with 11 seconds left. The Bulls with a chance to win here on Christmas Day. Rose left. Throws in the lane. Rose, good! Derek Rose and the Bulls come back to take a one-point lead. Now that was great basketball strategy. Great defensive strategy. They matched up with Blake in the backcourt. They knew that Kobe would get the ball. They double-team Kobe, and then they rotate Dang up to take away Gasol. Now this is just a great shot. Watch this shot up over the top of Gasol. That's a, a point guard wow. shooting it up over a seven foot two guy with long arms. What a shot. That was an incredible shot. Here we go. Meta World Peace with the inbound. Yeah, they got two on him. They deny Bryant. He's got it. Here's Kobe. Checks the clock. Here is Bryant. Kobe to the basket. Kobe for the win. It is blocked. And the Chicago Bulls with an opening day victory. The Bulls, who made their name on defense last year, come up with some great stops down the stretch. And they rally to score the last seven of the game. And Derrick Rose, the MVP, outpoints Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. 88 to 87. Derrick, congratulations. We just saw your winning basket with 4.8 seconds left. Describe the confidence level you have to have as you're making that game-winning shot. Um, my teammates give me the confidence to take the shot, man. Um, without them, without my coaching staff, whatever, I wouldn't be in that position. They gave me the ball. Lou made a great steal. And we just fall our way back into the game. After a sluggish third quarter where you guys really struggled to score, how did you guys get back into it offensively to make this such a close game? We just playing defense. Our defense turned into offense, and it worked out for us tonight. We definitely don't want to be in that situation, but thank God that it came through our way. Late in the second half, you took an elbow to the head and certainly struggled to get up. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. We got the win. I can't ask for nothing more. Wins make everything feel better, don't they, Derek? Yes. Merry sure. Christmas Thank to you. you. Merry Christmas. All right, Mike.
Hello again, everyone, with Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy, Lisa Salters with us as well. Mike Green saying Merry Christmas, everyone. And we are so excited about this regular season matchup between these two great teams. And what an atmosphere. You know, Mark, it's fun to be back in the city. They are still swelling with pride over their championship. It's not going to stop. They've waited a long time for that moment. They've earned the right to still celebrate in it. But I love the fact that it's Christmas time. We're seeing the two best teams in basketball with some great players and some great stories. James gets in the paint. Nearly strip ball deflected and stolen by Durant. Three on two the other way. Durant goes right by Liggins and lays it in. That's one of the things he's done throughout the course of his career. A one-man fast break. A great job of pushing the basketball with that length and size. Tremendous athletic ability. Irving out to Love. Love sets, fires, and hits. That's just such a difficult action to defend. Speaking of assists, beautiful pass to Petrulia. Bad pass stolen by Liggins. One man to beat. Struggles with his dribble. Durant right there to stop him. Irving fakes. Got it. All right, Lisa Wedley with the number one offensive team in the NBA, and they added one of the great scores in NBA history. Very scary for opponents. Oh, Kyrie Irving, how sweet was that? My goodness. Oh. Wait, this guy continues to amaze with his ability to dribble the basketball. James with the steal on the Thompson pass. Drives in, layup, gets it to go. James wanted a foul as Clay Thompson rushes up the floor. Durant quickly to the basket with authority. Love the outlet pass to James. What a sequence that was. James from three. That won't go. Durant grabs the rebound. Four of those as well. Drives past Shepard, stops, pulls up, and scores. Man, this guy. <laughs> Golden State up six. James behind the back, gets to the rim, left-handed off the glass. Clark in his fourth year in the NBA, getting some valuable time as Channing Fry nails the three-pointer. Fry sixth in the NBA in three-point percentage. Irving gets past Green, finds Channing Fry for an easy land. Three assists for Kyrie Irving. Three-point lead for Golden State. Channing Fry's knocked down two of those three-pointers. And it's back to a two-point game. Gaines holding. Shot clock down to eight. Finds Fry. Good patience. And Channing Fry gets a dunk. Has he had two layups in a game this year? I wonder. The NBA record is the 84-85 Lakers average 31.4 assists per game. Right now, Golden State 31.3. Obviously a long way to go in the season as Irving banks in a beauty. Irving fakes, drives on Draymond Green, comes up short, and tipped up and in. Kyrie Irving, the second effort. Ball poked away by Curry. Ahead to Durant. Durant with Liggins in pursuit, throws it down. And a timeout call from Teron Lewis. The lead goes back up to eight with over five minutes remaining in the second. Irving's jumper in and out. Durant gets his sixth rebound. Curry, quick catch and release. Steph Curry with his first field goal. And only the third three-pointer for Golden State, but it puts them up 11. Irving steps back, finds Kevin Love. Quick release on a three. Rattles home, his second three-pointer. And Love has 12 points to lead the Cavaliers. Durant. Kicks it out in the corner. Iguodala spots up. He can't hit the three. Thompson, another rebound. Six overall. James, down a lane, kicks it out to Love. Irvin dances. Feed inside to James. Layup is good, and they've tied the game. Ten straight points now by the Cavaliers as we approach a minute remaining. Irvin trying to find some room. Can't get it to fall. Durant with his eighth rebound. Durant, long three-pointer. His first three of the game, 17 points now for Kevin Durant. James double team, splits the defense, gets inside, backs it home. Shot clock turned off, Vigadala bringing it up the floor. Inside, finds Petrulia, blocked by James. Swatted out of bounds with 1.8 remaining. Yes, we're down three, he said, but I like where we're at. Back at Lisa. As Kevin Love likes where he was at, knocks down the three-pointer to tie the game. 17 now for Kevin Love, and that's, that's a big part of what Cleveland has done this year. Love is in such a comfort zone with this team in his third year with him as Durant answers back with a three. 
Durant finds Steph Curry. Little fake spin. Love is on him, and Curry adjusts beautifully. Irving guarded by Klay Thompson. Thompson, such a good defensive player. Games well beyond the arc, drills the three-pointer. He's been shooting the three pretty well this season at 37%. Durant with Thompson right on top of him. James tries another three and connects again. LeBron James brings the Cavs within one. James for three. Way off. He thought he got hit. Durant grabs his ninth rebound. Thompson, that quick release, drills the three-pointer. James drives, wants to shoot another three. That's good. LeBron James with a couple of threes here in the third. James to Fry. Fry for three. Curry the rebound. Curry just two of eight from the field. Klay Thompson delivers his fourth three-pointer. And that's a mistake by Kyrie Irving, looking at the basketball instead of staying connected to Klay Thompson and paid the price. Irving, penetration back to Thompson. What a sweet pass from Kyrie Irving, his seventh assist. And it forces Steve Kerr to call timeout. Thompson sets the screen on Klay Thompson. Irving drives. Oh, off the glass with some English. Irving kicks it out to James. Corner three. That's good. Three three-pointers here in the third for James. Four overall. And it's back to two. Oh, Draymond Green with a right hand. The physical play has picked up. Poor pass from Green. Irving, one man to beat. It's Curry. Sidestep. Strip. Ball right back to Irving. James. His shot won't go. Second effort is good. Iguodala sets the screen. Durant delivers. I love the patience. He waited for the play to develop when he realized nothing was happening. Made a play for himself. Oh, Kevin Durant. Wide open space and an easy dunk. He's got 28. Five to shoot. Love. Little jump hook comes up short. Durant crossover. Drives. Goes into Liggins. Blocking foul called on Liggins says Durant will get a chance for a three-point play. Love sets himself. Comes up short on the three. Durant another rebound. Number 12. Short pull-up. Puts it in. 33 for Durant. Timeout Cleveland as the lead has gone to 14. Liggins back in the game. Up top Irving. Three-pointer. Right side is good. That makes it an eight-point game. Thompson creates some space. Irving the crossover and the banking. Irving cans a three. Kyrie Irving with another big three-pointer. Green to Curry. Beautiful pass from Draymond Green. We still have 345 remaining. And what has been a special regular season game between these two NBA champions. Nice pass, Irving to James. That's the 10th assist to Kyrie Irving. Shepard back to Irving. Fakes drives on Durant. Left-handed, throws it up, and it rolls in. Tie game. That's a tough shot. That's great defense by Kevin Durant, but better offense by Irving. Curry on Irving. Irving the drive. Back to James. Cavaliers lead and a foul. Inside goes to Irving. Thompson may have gotten a piece of it as Durant comes the other way. To Curry. Curry for three. Bang! Steph Curry from downtown. His first three-pointer. Check that his second three of the game. As Jefferson has a shot clock winding down. James back to Jefferson. Gets off the three. Won't go. Rebound tipped. And taken by Iguodala. Ahead now. But Irving steals it back from Durant. Irving gets in the paint. Scoop layup. He banks it in. One-point game. Here comes Irving. Drives on Thompson. Irving spins. Puts up the shot. It's good. Kyrie Irving with 3.4 remaining. And the Warriors call timeout. Irving does it again to the Warriors. They throw it into Durant. Durant stumbles, falls down, throws it up. It's over. Cleveland wins. 
What a comeback from the Cavaliers. Down 14 here in the fourth quarter. Come back and beat the Warriors 109 to 108. Merry Christmas from Houston, Texas and Toyota Center. The Rockets face the Thunder. Oklahoma City with the third best record in the West. Houston starting to regain its winning form. The Rockets victorious in six of their last seven games. Ferguson drives the lane. And Capella an easy rebound. And if you're Houston, you need your offense to help your defense today. Hard not to take, beautiful move. What do I mean by that? Well, this is an Oklahoma City team that leads the league in forced turnovers. And they steal the ball at a high clip. You've got to put it in the basket to keep them out of transition. Hard, great dish underneath. Capella drops it in, plus a foul. If two commit to the ball, there's got to be backside rotation, right? And Adams decided to come over and give some assistance. He feels like uh, his guy is hung up. You know, the rotation a little bit late. And this is where Capella, how about that pass? Right between the defenders. If you're going to trap, you can't let that pass happen that quick. Harden, what a drive. So hard to stop once he gets downhill. That's his second field goal. And a turnover, what a play by Harden. Fourth in the NBA in steals, and here's a foul. It'll be a side out. This is that old rip through move, but Mike D'Antoni saying that was different. He was actually in his shooting motion. That should be three free throws. He's absolutely, to me, going up for a shot. Because you see Harden sometimes extend the ball just to get the foul as he drives and gets the layup. And you know he's not in the act of shooting in those situations, but it looked like that time he was. For all you viewers out there, if you've not seen the play in game one where Giannis, his left foot is on the half court line, and he took one dribble and was at the cup. That's absurd. Have you ever seen anything Never. like that in an no. NBA game? We were watching it uh, when it happened. And the fact that he didn't even make it look hard. How Neither does James Harden on the drive, shielding the defender. No, seriously. How well does he use his physical strength? Steven Adams may be the strongest man in the NBA. And it was no problem for, for James Harden. Harden with Paul George sticking a hand right in his face as he released the shot. Harden did a great job there to step in front, and Westbrook turns it over. Harden is fouled by Jeremy Grant and will go to the free throw line for the first time today. Eight point game, three minutes to go here in the first half. Harden picked up now by Grant. Harden with the step back and smokes the neck. He's got. 15 here in the first half. Again, Billy told us uh, as Harden drills a three that Westbrook more often than not has made the right play this year. Harden drives here, floats it home, 20th point. He's, he's ridiculous. So the switch and Ferguson on Harden with a shot clock at seven, a seven second difference between the clocks. Harden trying to shake him, step back three, on the money! Another triple for Harden, his third, 23 points. He makes eye contact with Eric Gordon because that was the matchup he wanted. I thought he wanted to play bully ball with him. Instead, he makes that three. Here's Harden driving, it ties the game at 60. It's, it's all those hesitations, change of pace. You get that defender standing up even just a little bit, and he goes right by you. Bucket and a foul, Westbrook on the reach in, House gets it to go and he'll go to the line. Ferguson's done a solid job on Harden, you can't stop the guy completely. As Harden is going to go to the free throw line, just his second trip to the line. Well remember LeBron James and the Lakers when they were going against Harden, uh, when Harden had that 50 point triple double, his fourth career, that they had their hands behind their backs a few times because they knew if they stuck their hand in there to try to steal it, he was going to get you to slap the arm. Good hands by House. And now Harden out in transition. Gives it to Tucker, lays it in. Playing off of Oklahoma City's turnovers. Feels like there's a speed right now to this Houston team. Adams from George, no. Tied at 70, midway through the third quarter. Harden for three. It's gone. Seven straight 30-point games for the reigning MVP. Defense. 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 
Four-point lead for Oklahoma City, nearing four to go. Hard with a beautiful pass, and Nene with the finish. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he just manipulates the defense. Harden does such a good shot, a job getting them the shots they want. Well, he improved so quickly and then just kept improving. There it is, hand of the cookie jar, bucket for Harden, and one. Schroeder picking up the foul, nine in the quarter, 32 on the day for Harden. Harden driving, bounces to Tucker, blows by his man, floats it in. Here's Nader filling in for Alex Abrinas, who is out due to illness, and Nader can't knock down the three. Harden. Rock the baby and hit the three over Ferguson. Wow. Hart gives it up to Capella for the block. Westbrook for three. In and out. Harden bounces it, Capella slams it. Largest lead today for Houston. And James Harden's a problem for everybody. Right now he is picking this team apart, whether it's for himself or his teammates. Two good friends squaring off at a critical moment in the game. Known each other for 20 years, obviously play together with the Thunder, Harden's first three years in the NBA. Harden was the sixth man of the year then. He's got 39 points and a superstar today. Not friends in between the lines, however. Harden against George. Harden trying to drive, got past George. Floater is good, and the lead is back to four. 41 points for James Harden. His seventh 40-point game of the year. They say it's a, an honor to play on Christmas Day, just as much a privilege to work on Christmas Day for all out in the Heat Nation. The Heat's 12th all-time Christmas Day game is underway. And off we go on another Miami Heat NBA Christmas Day adventure. Bosch from the wing. That's good. Bottoms up on Christmas Day for Chris Bosch. Wayne Wade has always loved the Christmas Day stage. Bosch, kaboom. Well, somebody came to the Heat's house ready. Bosch against Davis. And he draws a foul on Anthony Davis, and part of playing against a superstar, make him work on the defense. Yes. Now. And almost every coach that comes in to play the Heat has, has a comment or two about the sturdiness of the Heat defense that just gave up a slam dunk to Anthony Davis, the top pick back in the 2012 draft after one year and a national championship for the Kentucky Wildcats. Davis for three. And that's good. Anthony Davis, who made just 13 three or three threes in his first three years. He's got 14 triples this year. Shooting 30% from downtown. Little by little, he's getting that, that range down. Option from Anthony Davis. Two bigs trying to work some magic together. Yeah, good pass from Anthony Davis. It's been a, a subpar season for the 29-year-old Omar Asik, averaging just two and a half points a game. Average seven with ten rebounds a game last year for yeah, the Pelicans. They're a little disappointed in that. They expect more out of him. But Dwayne Wade, he's played some of his better games on Christmas Day. He's got three quick field goals on three attempts. And the Heat lead is six. He enjoys playing on Christmas Day. He Wade does. Oh, Davis blocking the pass by Bosch. And who's going to get that loose ball? A foul on Deng for upending Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis, an easy putback score for Davis. Already has nine of the Pelicans' first 13 points. Anthony Davis blocking the shot by Whiteside, and the Heat get it right back. Coach has always watched the game again, pick up little things, how he helps his teammates out defensively. He does a lot of great stuff. Anthony Davis nightly does great stuff. Eric Spolster said, well, need multiple efforts and multiple defenders, but no matter what we do, a player that great is going to find a way to get his numbers. The, the thing is, you got to make it work for him. Winslow for three. Bosch with the offensive rebound. Dang will try to triple. Kaboom. Ah, San Antonio play. Bosch with the rebound, hitting the teammate in the corner for the jumper. So every coach on every level is probably using that to, to, to talk about talented players coming off the bench. Chris Bosch makes the jumper. Few could use it as well as Gentry, who is yeah. fair in there. Golden State with, with Iguodala. But he said Drew Holiday has been very accepting of his role. Anthony Davis, they 
makes an impact every time he's on the floor. That's Davis. Wait, has he improved his mid-range game? Anthony Davis now with 16 points and six first half rebounds. It's a tough play to defend though because they have a guard pinning down on the Heat big. Those numbers show you what you're already seeing. Davis is dominating the game for his team. He just blocked the shot by Bosch. What an all-star caliber talent. Twice an all-star. Last year, first team All-NBA. Cole comes back with an answer. And orders Cole's first score. He's averaging seven points a game off the Pelicans bench. Davis. Wow. Anthony uh -huh. Davis having quite a half. 18 points and eight rebounds. This is Gordon. It rolled off. Davis smashing it back in with a half a second left. Yeah, the Heat shot 36% in the first half. And uh, there's another jumper by Davis. And you had uh, the Pelicans shooting 35% in the first half. Double team on Dragic. Back to Bosch. That's good. That's got to be good. Three for 11 in the first half. You get an open look against Anthony Davis. You need to make Evans from 20. And Whiteside kept Anthony Davis away from that heat ball. What a rebound battle they're having. Whiteside with 15. Davis with 12. A long two for Bosch. A Bosch with 13. A five-point lead for the Heat. And a timeout early here in the third quarter. What a steal of a strip by Anthony Davis. That's his fourth steal today. Bosch with two to shoot. Yes. Deliberate and effective. Took a peek down the other end to make sure that the, uh, you know, to see the shot clock. Bosch from the top of the circle. That's good. Chris Bosch putting the heat on his shoulders right now. The Pelicans were the eighth seed last year in, in the West. They won 45 games. They got eliminated quickly in the first round by Golden State. Matter of fact, they were swept by the Warriors. It was the first time they had made the playoffs since 2011. Yeah, I think Monty Williams did a very good job. Just a second score from the field for Anthony Davis in the second half. He's got 25 points in his first ever Christmas Day game. Bosch, win three. Come on! Oh boy, that, New Orleans had four straight points, starting to get a little momentum. Chris Bosch just kiboshed that. Davis ducks it. Anthony Davis have a nice setup. He has 27. Miami's lead is 10. Now this is a huge possession now for Miami. Pelicans on an 18 to four run. Bosch with a huge delivery. Oh, Chris Bosch ties the game at 74. Under a minute to go in regulation. They're on their feet here in Miami. A steal by Green. Racing with Gordon. And scoring. Gerald Green with the steal and the score. And the Heat lead it by two. Green defending Gordon. He gets by him. And he gets an easy score. Yeah, much too easy. Oh, man. 78 apiece. Wade in the Bosch. Over Holiday. Oh, Way man. off. He had, he had a, a, an advantage in size over Holiday. And now... New Orleans has a chance to take the last shot of the fourth quarter. Down to four. This is Davis for the lead. He missed it. And we go to overtime on Christmas Day. Bosch was fouled. Yes. The offense is going through Chris Bosch now. Bosch comes middle. It's a tough one. Oh, Chris Bosch. With four points in overtime. You gotta love him going to the basket, not settling. Hand off to Wade. Pump fake. Delivery. Basket and a foul. Play of the day. Smart play by Wade. They switched. Bosch wound up with a smaller player. Wade hits him with the pass. Bosch does the rest. And as it should be, let the two best, most experienced championship players lead the way. It's been Bosch and Wade paving the way here in overtime. The Heat with seven straight points. All of a sudden, up eight with just over 40 seconds to go in overtime. And the Heat have to guard the three-point line now. 40 seconds left in overtime. Anthony Davis, efficient. Oh, what a great play. 29 points for Davis. It's a six-point lead. 32 seconds left in OT. Gordon fouled shooting the three, and he made it. Oh, my. Gerald Green fouling Eric Gordon. Gordon driving in. Wade protecting the rebound. Yeah, he protected the basket, too. He made it a tough play on the defense. Pelicans are not going to foul. The Heat are going to win their seventh straight game on Christmas Day. Took overtime, but Heat Nation loving every second of it. And the overtime was dominated by the Heat's two best players, Wade and Bosch.
twenty nine different all stars are in these five NBA Christmas Day games and a boatload here between the Thunder and the Heat. But we'll see a lot of trapping of pick and rolls and especially forcing the big men to score. Beautiful find by LeBron James to Dwayne Wade breaks the scoring seal. Westbrook off the mark and James goes to get the rebound. Look out here. LeBron accelerates and pitches to Chalmers. Two field goals, both on assists by James. Now that's what he's all about, Mike. He's in the top ten in assists. Think about that. That means, you know, there are an awful lot of point guards that he's putting in second place. And he's going to get another one here. From Chalmers for the dunk. Seven nothing Miami. In the last seven games, Miami Heat are forcing over 20 turnovers a game. They are at it early. Kendrick Perkins left to guard James. He's done that in the past, including the Boston Cleveland matchups. And LeBron has done that to many defenders over the years. Well, LeBron James is having a great shooting year. On the inside is Kendrick Perkins, who's had several opportunities in the half court so far. Yeah, I, I like what we're seeing, Mike. See, they're starting to react now in the last couple of minutes. LeBron attacks Stephanosha. That's what he did in the finals when it was a smaller player. He took him right down to the basket and did his business there. Find of Martin, terrific shooter. Turned out that three, and here's James on the push. Yep. Chalmers couldn't catch it clean, but knocked it down anyway for three. It, whatever it is about this rivalry, it sparks Chalmers' game. He had a terrific series last year in the finals, and today he's off and running. Back up to nine from Miami and a Wade foul. As we hit the 246 mark, Norris Cole on the drive to start this second quarter. He misses. Deflected back out to James. Mike. Great finish. Oh, what, what a floater. Come on, when you're from the side there, you, you have no blackboard to put the ball in the box. It puts the pressure on Durant. Three knocked down by Durant, just his second shot. Of the evening, it's a four-point Miami lead. It's an Oklahoma City team that had won 12 straight of franchise record before losing in Minnesota on Thursday night. They've had five days off and got here yesterday and had their team Christmas dinner all together when they arrived in South Florida as Durant is fouled by Battier. 28-year-old LeBron James, MVP of the league, coming back in, matching with 24-year-old Kevin Durant. One was the second overall pick. Remember, Durant was taken when this franchise was in Seattle. LeBron, the number one pick in Cleveland. Let's go down Durant's side. Rookie of the year, three-time All-NBA. And this year, Hubie, you were pointing this out. The numbers in red, career highs, they're on pace for this season. James inside, catches on Cephalosha, goes up quick and scores. Now give Bosch a lot of credit. He could have forced up that shot. These two men were also teammates on the U.S. gold medal team in London. Matching up, often against each other. Beginning and end of each half when they're both in there. Donis Haslam, oh, didn't want the layup. Didn't get the assist, oh. but LeBron's got all that. Over Ibaka, 14 for James. How about the ball fake? The, the ball fake, what did, what did it do? It just froze Ibaka. He didn't know whether he was going to drive or what. Wade got Perkins in the air, LeBron on the attack to the top, and what? Now that was just a great play. How about this? I'm going strong, and I'm taking on the shot blocker, and I'm going to take his hit. Watch how he takes the hit, right here. Right there, he takes a strong hit, but upper body strength, it was like Ibaka wasn't even there. That was right the first time. Ibaka has 11. I want a new stat monitor for Christmas. James, 19 points. A great first half for LeBron. Hey, he doesn't care. I don't care who's guarding him, whether it's Kevin Durant, whether it's Ibaka, whether it's Perkins. Perkins blocked by James. Wade, good if it goes. End of the half. First of the two meetings between these teams. The rematch comes on Valentine's night in Oklahoma City. Chris Bosh saddled with foul trouble in the first half. Hits his fourth field goal. Durant. Oh, what a twist around LeBron. Oh, and what a wow. shot off the window. Oh, 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 oh. That was special from Kevin Durant. Great ball fake. Great ball fake and in a step through. LeBron set the screen, allowed Chalmers the pass. It's way free. Oklahoma City bench wanted three seconds. Wade missed the hoop and the Thunder 
have a chance to take a lead for the first time tonight. Durant. Oh, oh come on. Kevin Durant gives the Thunder a lead. Was someone thinking that they had him under control? <laughs> no, no, he's starting to he's starting to step forward here right now. I tell you the strong suit of this team is the fact that they get to the line almost 27 times a game. Good job out of the timeout. Bosch to LeBron James. And Hubie, we're all tied at 58 as you look at. As James comes back the other way for Miami. Chalmers, just like that, five. Before you can blink points, put up by the Heat to retake a three-point lead. 15 for Chalmers is a season high, and out of the corner, Westbrook. Knocks down three to tie the game. When we asked Scott Brooks before the game about Durant and his growth, his overall game, the stats, I thought he was going to go there. He said, no, his, his leadership. So remember, he's only 24. Magic Johnson's the only guy that he remembers to be that young and be a leader. But now year six in the league, as you said in the first half, that resume of experience and doing it under pressure, as James hits over Durant to put Miami back on top, that Kevin has now really stepped up the leadership role on this Oklahoma City team. Allen off the catch and shoot, and there's Ray. Uh, with a deep two that they'll review at the next stoppage. Now nah, that, that's Ray at his best. As he comes off of that screen, and there's only a little daylight, he's up at the brim. Durant in a two for one situation, gets a good look, and gets the two. Smart goal. LeBron got Kevin in the air. Miami extends the lead to five. It was seesaw throughout the third quarter. The Heat led the entire first half. Durant, a three from Kevin Durant. No, that was from almost outside the line. Okay, I mean, he was that far out. Nice pass. Durant rolling to the basket, went up for the dunk. And that's the second team foul on Miami here in the fourth. NBA this year trying to deter flopping. Video review of plays, even if they're not called as fouls against you, as Chalmers knocks down the jumper to give the Heat a four-point lead. This is a standoff. You have no idea whether I'm going to take you off the dribble, whether I'm going to shoot the jumper. But watch when you make that fake. As soon as you give that jab step, the player steps back, you take the shot. Now, LeBron in the second half, only two for three. Right here now, Kevin Garnett is on fire in the second half. He has 16 points, and he's doing an excellent job. It's Martin defending LeBron James, who gets the space. Collison waiting defensively. We're going to find a box. That was well done, not only by LeBron, because he was looking for Bosch to move without the ball. Westbrook sets the screen, Durant splits it. A running, floating, poetic shot goes down. Pocket seven, James was free, thought about the three. He'll let the all-time three-point maker take it. But Allen missed. Nick Collison likes that shot. Yep. Man game, Westbrook and Durant. Durant from the top, got a step, gets to the basket. Rolls it in. Long steps, two quick dribbles, and that long arm I, to get I, it to the I, I honestly thought he was falling down, he Mike. Did. I really did. LeBron gets Perkins. He clears space. He wants to take Kendrick. He'll take a deep two with a toe on a tape. LeBron knocked it down. <laughs> Remember, LeBron had 19 at the half. James. A couple of free throws coming. Yeah, Ibaka catches him. He catches him up underneath. James jump stop. Little roll. Didn't get that one. Minute 10 left. Down four. It's Durant going to the basket. And a foul is called as Battier was inside the circle with 108 left. Wayne Wade asking for the action to begin. Yep, there it is. Baseline screen. But behind the back and the quick hands of Westbrook knocked it away. They don't need a three. Down three. Durant will go right to the oh. rack and throw it down. Timeout Miami. How about the hesitation, Mike? Mm. That was well done. Mm. Once he got over half court, he gave that hesitation out by that three-point line. And the defense just hesitated a second. Where will the action come for James? It's a Wade screen to get LeBron the ball. On Durant. No help. Screen for Wade on the switch. Trying to get it back to James. Guarded by Westbrook. The clock's at six. Perkins is helping. Oh, and Bosch is free for the dunk. How about that? LeBron saw that all the way. As soon as Perkins came across the lane to zone the area, Bosch went right to the front of the rim. Big thing now is do you go for the three or do you score quickly? 
Durant trying to get that done over James. Got it. Great one point game. See, I'm, I'm big for that. Score quickly. Now, deny. All right, you can't get the steal, you foul. Now, watch Durant. Good ball fake. Throws LeBron for a second. LeBron could not elevate on that shot. Big thing here now is you got to go for the steal. You don't get the steal. You got to foul quickly. Don't be worried about who you foul. Miami has no timeouts. Battier got it to Ray Allen, and they found the fifth best shooter in NBA history. The lead is three. Oklahoma City has one more timeout after this. LeBron trying to deny Durant. Martin's got to get it in quick. He does to Westbrook. Uh, uh, and to Durant, they don't need a three. Steps back, he takes a three. Off the rim, no, it's rebounded by Perkins. Saved by Westbrook, three for the tie. Is off, Perkins calling for a foul, not getting it. And Martin fouls Bosch with 1.4 to go. Another tight, close victory over Oklahoma City. 103, 97. LeBron, they had a couple of chances to tie it. What happened on that last possession? Uh, I mean, I got a good contest on KD. He missed it. Long bounce, and, uh, you know, D-Way hit the ground and was able to steal to get up and get a contest on Russ and was able to get a defensive rebound. Mike Tirico was talking about the, the Christmas cheer, mm -hmm. saying that sarcastically. We had a fight almost down here in the baseline. Just tell me what the intensity level is, is like when you two teams get together. It's two teams that has the same aspirations. That's trying to win a championship, and... Uh, you know, both teams are not going to, you know, shortcut anything and just trying to get better each and every game. And it was a good fight by both teams. Thank you. Congratulations on the win. Uh, Merry Christmas you. again. 29 points, 9 assists, 8 rebounds. One shy of a triple-double. Durant led all scores with 33. Miami wins by 6. Slate on ESPN and ABC, the NBA Christmas special presented by Sprite now shifts to Portland, Oregon. Always a great NBA town. The folks here in Portland, here in Rip City, are ready to let it go on Christmas. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas from Portland, Oregon. Go Blazers! Yeah! The Denver Nuggets and the Portland Trailblazers are set to meet here at the Rose Garden. Howard always keeps himself in tip top shape. It is hard to believe he's been in the league this long. And Roy playing off that action drills a three and the Blazers have dialed in from long range here early. Carmelo the step back drilled it from the angle. Roy works the opposite side of the floor now draws a double team. Eat to shoot for Brandon Roy from the elbow he'll let it fly and Brandon Roy knocks it down. And Portland off to an electric start here four of six at home. Anthony finds a follow in the corner and he got baited into taking the three but it turned out okay the Nuggets kick it back outside to Carmelo Anthony for three. I thought it was interesting too when we talked to George Carl about does he have MVP credentials he says he certainly does he said, but defensively I'm asking him to do more things this year than he's ever done in his career now in his seventh year maturity is the key he said. It's interesting that he said he's playing him more as the roamer defensively which means he's got more responsibility to be in the right place at the right time. Well, he might have to get out on Roy because Brandon is lighting up a flop. To the end line comes Anthony. Over the double team, missed it. Reek groups, grabs it, and powers right back up and in. Wow. He is as quick off his feet as anybody in this league. Smith drives into the lane. Rimming it tapped up and in by Anthony at the buzzer, and it's going to count. And the Denver Nuggets come out with an outstanding first quarter to take a seven-point lead on the road here in Portland. Bayless again rejected by Anderson. Swats it outside to Anthony. Brings it up and accelerates for the jam. And it must be difficult for Dave McMillan, certainly with the crutches. They said they've got a motorized uh, or a, a small tricycle that uh, he's able to use in practice if he wants to, but he doesn't like the, the feel of that. So he usually sits and conducts practice uh, from a chair as Roy knifes in. This time he put his body on the shot blocker, Anderson, and he's able to score. Roy over to Blake with two to shoot. Roy will appraise the situation and finds Bayless slashing in. Back to Roy. Lead it up and in. 
Good two man play over there. Yeah, Before great. Anderson could block it, Roy. Short arms of three. Smith with a rebound. Roy takes it right away from him. And up and over. Anderson missed it, but followed it in on an alert move. What an athletic play by Brandon Roy. A great read in the backcourt to come up with a steal and then just aggressive in going to the rim. A second jump a la Carmelo Anthony and ends up with the tip in. Roy tight ropes the end line. Tremendous athletic move with a slide step and a powerful finish. Well, he's single handedly keeping them in the game right now offensively, showing you a little bit of everything. Here's Roy driving in, jump stop, and knocks down a beauty. Yeah, he has put this team on his back right now. He's asking for the basketball. He knows that he can attack off the dribble. Denver really hasn't decided to come with any double team, so he's got it rolling right now. And the crowd chanting defense, but Carmelo Anthony has other ideas. And Nate McMillan puts Brandon Roy back in the game for this last possession, knowing that he is his primary decision maker, and he has had the hot hand the entire half. Roy trying to break down the nay, steps back, and oh, that was salty. How about that? Roy can't like quick off the dribble with a pull-up right hand, and then so powerful he nails Carter, knocks him out of the way and laid it in. And what I love about Brandon Roy is he's always under control, although they would like to see somebody else get it going right now. They can't expect him to continue to be the sole guy providing any offense right now. And it's amazing because they have done that with no other Blazer in double figures. In fact, the second highest scorer is Aldridge with six. Carmelo faces up on Webster. Drives him inside, double clutch, and lays it in. That is a pure power move. Well, it's almost unfair. The guy that size could have the first step that quick. Andre Miller looking for his jump shot right now, and he has struggled with that shot tonight, but... It's still going to be there for him, so he's got to continue to take the shot, make the defense figure out another way to rotate. Carmelo Anthony again with that move along the left baseline, powering in with a double clutch finish. Andre Miller with a nice find of Roy curling down on the baseline for the lay-in on the post. Brandon Roy, Carmelo right now going back and forth at each other. Kenyon Martin, nice turnaround jump shot. Anthony over Martell knocks it down. Miller will convey it over here to Brandon Roy and Anthony Carter trying to get up and get physical with him way outside. Roy will just back him down and then hit the fallaway flip. Ten to shoot now for Portland. This is Roy. What a move. What an array of shots that Brandon Roy has. Brandon Roy tonight with 33 big ones. Splits a pair of defenders off the screen from Howard and laid it up at him with the left hand. Brandon Roy is special. What a luxury to have a two guard that can score the way he can, but handles the ball as well as any point guard. That time splitting the pick and roll, using his left hand, finishing. Look at Anthony spinning, and man, did he cover a lot of real estate and laid it in. Yeah, that, that's patented Carmelo right there. Carmelo on Roy. The one two to the end line, doubled out to Smith for three. That was good as soon as it left his hand. What a beautiful setup by Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, that's the play that Carmelo Anthony couldn't make earlier in his career. Going to the rim, fully intent on scoring, but then when your options are cut off, find the guy. That time on the weak side of the court, a cross-court pass. Perfect in stride for J.R. Smith to knock down the three. Brandon Roy answers right back. What more can this guy do tonight to keep his team in this game and give them a chance to win. He's done it all already. Here's Roy for three. Brandon Roy having one of those out-of-body experiences with 41 big ones. Well, if there's anybody left that didn't know Brandon Roy was a superstar, they found out tonight on Christmas on a big stage. Brandon Roy has just been spectacular, and now this place is energized. Best way, Wyatt, the crowd gets something going to the rim. Big bucket that time for Denver coming out of the timeout. Got the ISO they want in the middle of the floor. Camelo, the penetration, and then dropping it off. This is where he has grown so much as a player, finding guys when the help comes. Roy's season high is 42, career high 52 last year against Phoenix. Gives to Blake. And again from the corner, the short ports right in front of Denver's bench. He was wide open. Melo answers, keeping a minute. With 14 seconds left, though, the issue's been settled, and the Blazers are going to win this one at home on Christmas Day. And they're rewarding one of the great home crowds in the entire NBA with the way that they're playing the game right now, getting it done collectively, and then relying on your superstar in a big way. Brandon Roy coming through. The festive holiday atmosphere. They've all secured tickets to the big game.
and watching two of the NBA's best. Here at Oracle Arena, the current MVP in the 27-1 Golden State Warriors. And the four-time MVP and his 19-7 Cleveland Cavaliers. Mike, if I had to do an MVP ballot today, he would be fourth on my MVP ba ballot, Draymond Green. Who are the first three? Well, Curry, Leonard, and this guy, LeBron James. This guy just puts it in for his first bucket, and the Cavs back up by one. Second round pick, by the way, Draymond Green, as Curry tied up, up top. Green has excellent three-point range, nails it. Oh, yeah, he does that, too. Green spots up, hits a three. Draymond Green already eight points, two assists, and a couple of rebounds. Bogut does an excellent job defending Mozgov on that play. Here comes Curry. Stops, adjusts, banker, won't go, but a foul. Bogut's tip will not count. Curry cuts back door. Count it, and a foul. Bogut with a bullet pass from near half court. And Stephen Curry with a chance for a three-point play. Shumpert, chopper misses. And to me, that's not good offense. There's, there's very few people in the NBA as Curry lines up a three that the dribble up mid-range jumper or three is a good shot. 15 to three run. And it's one of the things about Golden State in the blink of an eye, a close game could turn into trouble for the opponent. But James with a nice answer. Barbosa, little pump won't go. James pulls it down and keeps his dribble as he falls to the ground. Five-point warrior lead. James stops. Count it and one. Talk about strength. The ability to take the contact, get to his spot, and finish the three-point play. Azili, that time too strong. James the rebound. Come back to us, Festus. That's not you. <laughs> get into that post, baby. Azili now on James. And if you're LeBron James, you gotta look to attack Festus Azili defending. James gets inside, shot is good. Nine points now for James, the game's all tied up. James guarded by Iguodala. Still in his sixth man role. Backs in, and foul. James, Thompson knocked it loose, and a foul called. Scott Foster comes from the outside and calls the personal on Thompson. And James will shoot too. Inside Della Vadova. And the Warriors get caught coming out. Excellent play on the timeout. Irving inside Moskov. Moskov turns, misses the layup. Curry, rifle pass. Thompson for three. What a pass from Steph Curry. And Clay Thompson gives Golden State a six point lead. James drives on Rush, poked away by Rush and stolen. Curry to Green, and Green the flush. James fakes, steps back, puts it up, nails a three-pointer. Now on a couple of feet beyond the arc. Rush steps back, can't hit. Bogut, offensive rebound. Curry's got Mozgov on him, now James picks him up. Curry to the basket, left hand. And a foul! Sweet move from Stephen Curry and a chance for a three-point play. You're asking a seven-footer to defend Steph Curry. Guards have a problem. Love the beautiful left-hand finish with the contact. Curry celebrating that move. When we talk about he's in the conversation as the greatest shooter, his ball handling, again, seems to have taken the next step even from last year. James gets inside and a nice feed from Love. Curry inside. Draymond Green found him. Fifth assist for Green. Green drives right at Thompson. A lot of contact, but it looked like Thompson went straight up. Thompson can't hit James the rebound. James the putback is good. It really has turned into a grinded out game, which you would think is favoring Cleveland. But the Warriors have shown they can win these type of games. Ian Clark is in the game, did a pretty good job there defending James, but James got the better of James, Clark pokes it away. Clark knocks it away again. Clark picks it up, layup, 
Blocked by James. Delavadova the rebound. Cavs or the Warriors thought it should have been a goaltend. Inside to Green. Beautiful execution there. And it's back up to six. Delavadova stolen by Curry. Curry to Green. Green, Igadala. And got whacked in the face. Irving drives on Curry. Falling away. Knocks it down. Largest lead of the game. A 10-point advantage. James on the drive and finish. An authoritative answer from James. It's back to eight. He's got 22. James guarding Thompson. Thompson gets away to the basket. Blocked by James. Curry on the drive. Flips it up and it won't go down. James up top. He's got Iguodala, goes for the steal. James in and slams it home. And it's back to six. Poor job by Iguodala, gambling defensively. Keep your body in front of James and make him shoot over you. How about that block down the other end? It's set up the dunk. The Warrior lead remains four. Curry drives on James. Scoop layup off the glass. Great hesitation coming off the high screen to bring James out of his stance. Back up to six. James to Love, back to Smith. J.R. Smith knocks down the three, and it's a three-point game. Bad decision by Livingston looking to help. Let Draymond Green defend Love one-on-one. -on -one. Turns his head and pays the price. Minute remaining. Curry again to the basket. Left-handed rolls it in. But you've got to give help from somebody. They have Livingston on the perimeter. Iguodala on the perimeter. Five-point game. Cavs need to push. James with a head of steam. Foul call is Draymond Green. Thought he grabbed the ball clean, but James is going to go back to the line. Cleveland needs to look for the three. Smith fires away. Shot in and out. Green the rebound, and that will do it. Golden State stays perfect at home, and they continue the best start in NBA history. And although these two teams haven't developed a real rivalry yet, they're going to have to face each other in the playoffs. They're certainly the two of the best teams in the NBA. And Mark, when players like Kobe Bryant and LeBron James match up, they won't be guarding each other all the time. In fact, much of the time they won't. But they still kind of push each other a little bit, don't they? Well, no question about it. They take a look at the impact that both are having on both ends of the floor, and they raise the stakes offensively and defensively. I expect to see them when it matters most matched up against each other. I agree with what Mark said about uh, Pal Gasol. He is so difficult because he can face up as Bryant knocks in the jumper. Gasol can face up against guys who have size like centers, and then he'll post smaller power forwards like J.J. Hickson. You have the length now with Gasol and Bynum, and you play at home for the majority of your game. You have a chance as Bryant knocks in another jumper. You have a chance to be a dominant defensive team. LeBron James knocks down a three. They win 66 games last year and do not stand pat. They made a lot of changes. Shaquille O'Neal, Hickson now a big part. LeBron James finishes there that time. And the Cavs now with nine straight points. They missed their first. Well, the Lakers, meanwhile, started off hot and now missed their last eight shots. Ryan looking for it. Parker, one of the other key acquisitions for Cleveland, getting all those extra minutes. As we saw, it's the pretty feed from Bryant. The Lakers back within one. Oh, Williams to James, get out of the way. He gets one of those cuts every game when Mo Williams penetrates to the baseline. Instead of just spotting up, he times and cuts through the lane. Very good play by the Cleveland Cavaliers to get LeBron James an easy one. Find him back out. Farmer just in, first shot. And throws up an air ball as Verjao gets it. That spin, if you want to be a nitpicker, the Laker bench has not played up to par. That's the one thing you can say is James gets an easy one down low against our test. If LeBron James ducked in like this every time from the post, who could handle him? I mean, that depth, that skill level, he doesn't have to post up outside the lane. They, they can get him in the paint two feet deep. James. 
Gaskis tip won't go. Cavs are the best first quarter team in the NBA. They average 29 a game. Nice pass inside, and Kobe Bryant with the finish. Bryant against Jamaria Moon. Drives hard to the basket, banks it in. Good, hard, aggressive move from Kobe Bryant. The Cavs are shooting 64% from the field. Oh, pretty move from Bryant. Switching to the left hand. Good defense from Barajal. Moon for the basket. Nice throw down for Moon. The defense starting the offense again for the Cavs. That's still their bread and butter outside of LeBron James. And here you're hearing boos. It's unbelievable. This team's 23 and 4, and they're getting booed. And it's Christmas. Mark, explain this to me. I'm baffled, especially when you talk about as if Gauskas knocked down another shot. Phil Jackson saying, I've, I've seen enough. But especially when you talk about the ability of this Laker team to bounce back at any moment. Bynum. Nice move. And finish. Just like the old days with all these seven footers out there. West for three. Delante West from downtown. LeBron James. Throws it down. That's a big time move. A little dream shake. Gets to his right hand and finishes over our test. His size and you know and the thrust. I mean he comes at you. I mean he comes at you with a lot of speed and, um, and a lot of power. I mean he dips his shoulder, gets you in foul trouble, gets everybody else involved by doing that. So you know you just gotta just gotta play fundamentally sound defense. Well, and here you're seeing that power in a different form on this duck in where he just catches it that deep. There's nothing you can do, and that's against one of the strongest men pound for pound to ever play the game in Ron Artest. I think you could make the strong case that LeBron James is the greatest athlete to ever play NBA basketball. Oh, a lot of contact there. Brian inside, blocked with a foul. Marajal hit him. The Lakers get it back. Artest inside, lefty layup. Nice play from Artest. He thought he got hit there. And all of a sudden, the crowd a little fired up on a 6 0 run. Good job by Lincoln, recognizing there's no size in the front line of the Cavs, and they are looking to get into the scene. Alley up to Moon. Nice pass. Jamario Moon in his first year with the team. It's a beautiful feed. And that's LeBron James' fifth assist. Bryant on the drive, gets inside. And it's cut to 11. Brian on the drive inside, draws the foul. And he'll go to the line with 2.3 remaining. James looking. Hickson gives it right back to James. Half court count as he goes. Oh, he put it in. Three pointer from half court at the buzzer. Now they'll review it. No, they wave it off. Danny Crawford said no. Parker blocked by Brian. Brian, one man to beat. And Williams lets him through. The defense and a dunk. I was surprised that Bryant outran Ildaskas there. It was even at half court. I was shocked. Bryant drives, gets inside, blocked from behind by Williams. Bryant gets it back, left-handed. In large part, the players said because of the league that Snoop Dogg created for youth football, major props to him as O'Neal dunks it. Beautiful feed from LeBron James, the Lakers claim the ball was above the cylinder. Ryan against Parker. Gasol. How Gasol puts it in. He's been relatively quiet considering how well he's played. Not in recent weeks. Nine points, five rebounds. James steps back. That's a three. And it's good. LeBron James nails the three. And the Cavs back up by 16. I, I really just like how he's playing off the ball. He got the cutting layup. He got a drive off the pin down. Now he gets a three off the pin down. To me, that's a great improvement in his game. Bryant for three. Puts it in. Shot clock down to five. Kobe left-handed blocked by O'Neal, but a foul. O'Neal upset, but he clearly caromed into Bryant. Well, also, you know he knows how to win playing with the Globetrotters. He never lost <laughs> against the Generals. He's a winning player. Mo Williams from the corner. Nails a three. Another big shot, 24 points for Mo Williams. And the lead back up to 16. And right now, the Lakers are playing general's defense. You got to find a way not only to score, but also to get stopped. James gets to the basket. Moon with a hand in his face. Nice shot to Mario Moon. And it's up to 18 with seven and a half to play. Moon is 6'8", guarding Bryant. Bryant goes right past him and a hard foul. 
of his former teammate. James to the basket, up and under, and banks it in. And it's 86-70. Hey, this isn't Jamario Moon or somebody that's a non-scorer coming off. If you're Pau Gasol, forget El Goskis. Make James make that pass. You've got to take away the best finisher in the game. When he gets to the rim, he makes. Williams falling away. Not a great shot there. Bryant will push. At the midway point of the fourth. Bryant spinning, kicks it out. Artest wide open for three. Puts it in. Lead back up to 20. Moving with the foul. Down and Brown to the basket. Gets it inside to Bryant for the first. Under three minutes. Bryant still battling. James wants it. Williams throws it right to Kobe Bryant. Bryant goes up. Williams gets out of the play. And it just slips in. Bryant to the basket. Not that time. Yeah, yeah. The rebound. Cavs defense has just been terrific. James puts it in and a foul. And for the Cavs, they'll finish their four-game road trip with three straight wins. As we mentioned, they open up with a loss in Dallas. But then they beat Phoenix, beat Sacramento in overtime, and handily defeated the Lakers here at the Staples Center. LeBron, what was working so well for you guys tonight, enough to cause their own fans to boo them off the court on Christmas Day? Um, we, we just covered for each other all night on the defensive end. Um, on the offensive end, we um, we seen a lot of their pressure in the second quarter. So in the third quarter, we knew they was going to try to do the same thing, but we just slowed down and executed the right way. You said before the game that this game would be a measuring stick for you guys. So where do you think you came out? Um, it was a good performance by us. Um, you know, defensively, we definitely did a great job of helping one another and not relying on just one defender to guard another def an offensive guy. So um, it was a good win for us, and, um, you know, we needed that having this long road trip. All right, thanks a lot. Congratulations. Right, Merry you. Christmas. Get back fast now. Atlanta runs hard after a score. They get the ball up that right side, and they're always looking. This is the guy they're looking to. Wilkins again, and this time he tucks that shoulder down and comes up firing. Here's another steal by the Hawks. Webb and Wilkins in front of him. There's two great athletes. Wilkins finishes it off. Here's Albert King, though. See, this group needs to get their their best shot. Here's Wilkins on the fly. Nice and soft and off the glass, and here come the Hawks, and Matty Gukas jumped up. Back him out. Gukas guarded by Danny Brains right now. Well, they're trying to keep him quiet, and Brains is the best guy to play him. There's Whitman open. They double team on Wilkins, and he finds Randy Whitman on the skip pass, and the Sixers now lead by six. This is McNamara. Barkley was in great rebounding position. Unfortunately, the ball bounced off the other way. He had cleared the deck. Yeah, they're really out of sync in the half court offense. They're not fluid at all. And the Hawks getting very good shots. Here's a foul behind as Wilkins inside the free throw line. Is hacked by Danny Brain. Another one for Dominique, who had a two-point first quarter, but he's starting to get cranked up now. He has eight. They're bringing Livingston to the ball. There's a double screen for Wilkins. He's wide open. Cheeks will find himself open again. He'll miss his first shot. Wilkins on the fly. This he's is going trouble. all the way. A couple of pump fakes, and finally nobody was around, and he just laid it off the glass, and he's coming on in a hurry. Fighting the clock once more. Robinson in traffic. Followed up by McNamara. No, and the Hawks on the break. Wilkins glides, scores, and he's fouled. King is short. Rivers now. Albert is struggling right now. He's 5 for 14. And Dominique Wilkins with 17 in the game. There's Wilkins. He's cooking now. 19. Looking for Andrew Tony now. Oh, nice. Alley to Hinson. Oh! Highlight time. Mike Fratello says that's interference time. That's Wilkins time. 21 now for him. Hawks by one. That's a clear out now, one on one. Barkley did a good job, made him take a tough shot. The reason why he did a good job, he had his hand on his hip. 
But you see, once that ball went back out again, see, Charles lost him. He went right to the front of the rim. Range tried to go back to Barkley, no. Here he comes again. Ooh. He wanted the three-point shot. Wilkins is fouled. Danny Brains commits the foul, and Wilkins really creating things now. The Sixers picking up a lot of fouls. High pick and roll now. Can't let him turn the corner. Wow. Seven seconds. Wilkins leans in, and he's fouled. A great athlete there picks up the loose ball and does something with it. Six seconds to shoot. Wilkins. There he is on the board. Wow. See, Charles never blocked him out. See, he shot the ball. When he shot the ball, Charles just stood there. He went right by Charles up on the offensive board. Yeah, Andrew Tony is moving the basketball beautifully. He's been there. He's been in the big games. He knows that the extra pass has got to be made against the good defensive teams. He's finding the free guy with the better shot. That's him all over Wilkins now. Uh, Wilkins knows he can jump over. There it is right there. He does so. 32 for Wilkins. One on one, clear out. He's giving him all his moves. Look at that move. Wow. Just a great talent. 34 points. You gotta watch out. You see, he'll, he, he, oh. Wow, that was breaking the press yeah. classic style. Well, Wilkins started it and he just finished. blew right by the three guys on the trap there. This is John Battle. Good try, Joe. Good try. Battle, 18 feet away. See, the rotation wasn't there. The next guy never came at battle. Tough angle, tough shot. Robinson, Big rebound. Rebound loose. You got to, Mo, you got to get it. Didn't. Big, big, big play. Wilkins. Foul. How do you like that? He tried a two-handed dunk. Two big foul shots. He's got 38. It's a clear out for Wilkins. Charles gonna battle him. Ooh, Wilkins, that head fake, and then he steps in. And then he goes about 19 feet. Henderson, three points short with it on the floor, and this will do it. Rivers can just dribble it away. Battle now will hold on to it. And the Hawks have won another one. Their record now goes to 17 and seven. They worked hard and got this one. Dominique Wilkins with 43 points to lead the way. This is Holiday Hoops, brought to you by Michelob Ultra, Detroit and Orlando from the TG Waterhouse Center. John Saunders, Greg Anthony, and Sal Masakela. We've heard from Sal in the first. Let us take this moment right now to say Happy Thanksgiving. A little bit late for that. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Brady's got it now, working on Curry. Ball on the floor, jumps in, doesn't finish, gets his own back, and flushes it down. Guys, just so good. I mean, there you, he shows his ability, the fact that he can go in, have his shot blocked with the quickness to, to recover and go up with the left hand for the slam. As Grady spins in the baseline, it's good. This is going to be a really difficult matchup. As great as Michael Curry is defensively, again, he's given up three inches and he's given up a lot of giving up a lot of athleticism as well. A great lead by McGrady. Get ready, folks. Showtime. Yeah, I'm taking my man to shoot around. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. We're gonna go practice a little bit. That's Tracy McGrady on Monday meeting with Irene Brown. Of course, the youngster who was a victim of the sniper attacks in Washington, D.C. As you can see, he has recovered. And Tracy McGrady was his favorite player. And McGrady brought him down, has him here at the game. Irene has just been smiles during this entire time. And nothing great came out of what happened in Washington. But you really see what a great kid Tracy McGrady is to spend time. Halftime will have a feature on this entire trip. McGrady, great crossover to the glass. And this one does stay down. They really don't have an answer for the penetration that Orlando is presenting right now in the perimeter with McGrady and Miller and, and Hill. Tracy McGrady, as you can see, is starting to play a little bit, have some fun, mismatch right now. Yeah, the back gets a little bit looser. The longer the game goes, as it starts to warm up, and T-Mac is heating up. McGrady with it, taps it to himself. Seven on the shot clock, oh, spins and loses Richard Hamilton. Oh, my. 
That was a basket waiting to happen no, right there. there there's man. no way Richard Hamilton is going to guard Tracy McGrady on the block. That's that's really a poor decision by Detroit to not go and extend help. Curry working on McGrady. His jump shot with a rainbow and good. Nice pass from Robinson down to Hamilton. For some reason, Rip double clutched on it with one hand and couldn't convert. Well, that time Orlando had a good help defense. When he made the cut, weak side was able to get there and make him change his shot. And he went from having an easy layup to a difficult one. Again. Boy, does that tell you? <laughs> right there, right on cue. But I tell you what, he's hobbling a little bit. He doesn't look real good coming down after that shot. Brady wants to put it on the floor on Curry, then comes up, shoots over top of him. Oh, boy. Rick Carlisle is going to have to come up with an answer for McGrady, who has six already in his second half, 26 overall. Miller gets it on the deflection. Now he finds McGrady. This is the problem. Once you allow him to catch it, you're in trouble. Ben Wallace on a crossover, and just like that, T-Mac rattles it down. There's just no defense for that type of ability, quite honestly. I mean, Ben Wallace played that about as well as he could. He contested, and again, Tracy McGrady's ability to finish is just really unparalleled in this league. This is not a matchup you want right now if you're Detroit. For simply that reason. <laughs> When I first got to the arena this morning, I saw Coach Rivers. I said, hey, you know, how was your Christmas? He says, well, I'm really tired, man. I said, why? He said, my kids kept me up till 3 in the morning putting together a backboard, a new backboard. He said, next year, I'm just going to hire somebody to put together the new gifts. How about that last play by Tracy oh. McGrady? Again, that just kind of emphasizes what we've been talking about, about how unstoppable this guy is. You know, I, I'm so glad that we brought that point up and talked about it, too, because so many guys in this league do a lot of positive things for society. And unfortunately, you know, those aren't mentioned quite nearly as much as, as I would like to see. Oh, four. That's a three-pointer. No good. McGrady just wanted that ball more than anyone on Detroit. And you talked about attitude in terms of rebounding. That's a perfect example. You have to want it. You know, rebounding is the talent in rebounding is the effort and the energy you have to put forth. And McGrady showed it there. O'Cour gets over and slaps the ball away. McGrady with it. Robinson tries to stay with a great screen by Armstrong. Absolutely wiped out Cliff Robinson. I tell you what, he's a momentum buster. Tracy McGrady, everything's going Detroit's way, and he comes in and makes it just a very difficult shot on pretty good defense for Cliff Robinson. McGrady is probably far from done right now. And finally, the foul by Atkins. Brady right now is having a 40-point game. And what he has been capable of over the last few weeks, this is now 15 times in his career, he's done over 40 points. Incredible. Brady's got to chase it down. Good job, very athletic, just to keep that ball from going out of bounds because the pass was a little bit too far in front of him. And Brady skies in, circus shot, no good. He's still got a minute plus of basketball left. T Mac now at 45 points. Most ever scored on a Christmas Day game was Bernard King, who had 60. So McGrady and the Magic come up with the win. 104 to 99 is the final. Welcome to NBA Christmas Day, presented by State Farm. Tonight in Denver, a festive finish to our big day around the NBA. We've got one more gift to unwrap here at Ball Arena as two of the NBA's highest rated offenses host a holiday party. Taos and they are vocal early and a reason to celebrate quickly with Jokic. If you watch the game on Friday night, the rest of the Suns did not look good in a blowout loss as Jokic hits again from deep. Off the miscue, Jokic from Murray, not the first time. Gordon trying to clean it up. Jokic, the third time is good. Devin Booker have typically been the guys that close out the games, but Chris Paul's got to be more aggressive early. And Jokic again. Is there an answer for the big fella? Another and one opportunity, the two-man game with Jamal Murray. And if you look at Jokic and what the reigning MVP has done, certainly there's an opportunity for a three-peat here with the numbers that he's putting up. Bruce Brown, one of four guys in their rotation that's better than 40% from downtown. Christian Brown, the rookie out of Kansas, rattles it in for three. Ah. Murray, in and out, tipped up and in by Jokic. 
Jokic, after that 15 point first quarter, the kick out. KCP for three. Jokic with the block. Another opportunity for the Suns and a good dive to the basket for Craig. Murray knocks down the three from the top of the key. As Jokic scores at the other end. Jokic lobs to Gordon. Their chemistry, their chemistry is very, very impressive. With the 10-point lead after the Gordon dunk, Jokic with Paul defending this match. Brown back to Jokic, mid-range, good. It's just the touch. Gordon throwing it down. Jokic knew it was short, so he followed it immediately and scores. Jokic. <laughs> Jokic three. Good. Denver has been the better clutch team this season. As Murray drains one to beat the buzzer. Porter back door and Jokic now with the triple double. Murray open look. Got it. They've been waiting for that. Jokic spins to the left and lays it up and in. Gordon uses the screen. Wraps it around to Jokic for the lay-in. Bridges, tough fade. Push the other way. The lob, Gordon! With the thunderous jam! Timeout, Suns! I wanted the Aaron Gordon highlight package when we come back. Murray probes. Back outside for three. Murray again using the Jokic screen. And another one. Now Paul out top. Crossing up Porter. Michael stayed right there with him. Sham it from the corner for three. Caldwell Pope. He gets into the lane. Jokic tips it up and in. As he adds to his triple double tonight. Now Murray with eight and on him. No good. Rebound Phoenix. And they have to foul DeAndre with 15 seconds to go. Gets the second, so Phoenix by two. Looking to free up Jokic, he's got it. Back to Murray. Murray off the bounce. Oh! All the way to the rim for the jam! He looked over here and told us he was going to make the next one. I'm not going to miss the next one. Caldwell Pope gets into the lane. Good square up off the bounce. Jokic. Fouled and a trip to the line. Denver by a deuce. Aaron trying to keep it in play. Jokic has it. Back to Gordon. Murray got hung up in the air. Almost a second straight turnover. Jokic. The shot clock buzzer. Great clock awareness, but off the one legged, off like just money. It's a joke. That's why they call him the Joker. <laughs> 41, 15, wow. and 14. Come on. Shamit on the inbound. Got it. Keep him alive, Landry. Jokic finds Caldwell Pope weak side for three. Shamit gets another look and he hits it again. Paul, Aiden, got it. And it's a one point game with 1.02 to go in OT. Shamit had a 
clean look. Here comes Aaron Gordon the other way. Gordon! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh! And are they calling that an offensive an foul? offensive foul, and there's no challenge left. Drink this in with your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. His upper body was, his upper body and his leg were moving. Watch this. Right here at the last second, he's not safe. Moves over before the contact. Wow. Shamit gets it up in time. No. Damian Lee with the rebound. They got to get it back outside the arc. And they turn it over. And Bruce Brown will run out the clock. And the Denver Nuggets win it in overtime. 128 to 125. Joker, what an incredible game. How did you guys pull this off? I mean, uh, it was a crazy game, you know, a lot of up and, up and downs, a lot of runs for both teams. Jamal get hot lately, we missed a couple free throws, I think it's supposed to be an easier game for us. We missed a couple free throws in the end, but we got the win, that's the most important thing. You had now the most points in a triple-double on Christmas Day. I know you're all about the team, but how cool is something like that? It's nice, you know, it's just, a, it's just one game, everybody can have one good game. You guys are now in first place, sole possession of first place with this win. You guys have had a lot of challenges with injuries. What does this say about your team? I mean, uh, we keep fighting, you know, next man up. Uh, we have a lot of uh, rookies, a lot of guys who can play uh, and, and, and change the guys who, who get injured. So we, I'm just happy that we are winning. And I think this is a 15 in a row for us or 14 in a row. So we are playing really good. Aaron Gordon was out of control. It was like being in a dunk contest. Can you convince him to get back in the dunk contest? No, no. He doesn't need to go there. We need him healthy. <laughs> All right. Merry Christmas. Congratulations. It's not my Christmas, but Merry Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Happy holidays. Back to you guys. Welcome to Christmas Day in Los Angeles. A sellout crowd at the Staples Center for our marquee matchup of the day. Two of the NBA's best teams with some of the league's brightest stars coming up next in L.A. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. Brought to you by Taco Bell. The customary toss in the air from LeBron James gets the resounding boo from the crowd. And for the Miami Heat, Carlos Arroyo, the starting point guard, Zajunas Ogowskis, the starting center, rounding out with the big three for head coach Eric Spolstra. And for the Lakers, one of only two teams to start the same five every game. The Spurs, the other. The veterans, they've been there. They know what they need to do. And they'll no doubt be fired up. And again, for the fans, this has been such an exciting game. So anticipated with these two teams. Sometimes the players try and downplay it a little bit because it really is just one of 82. But, Mark, you know that they're fired up to play this game on Christmas Day. Well, no question about it. You can understand when guys try to downplay it, but the truth is the truth as they set up a design play off of the tap. Brian to Lamar Odom on the backdoor cut. Outstanding execution. But the truth is, everybody knows this is a huge basketball game, and this is what the players live. Our chest. One of the premier defenders over the past decade in the league is Bosch misses. Trying to guard LeBron James. Wade on the pull up. And again, Wade, after his slow start, a lot of it had to do with injuries, really, in the month of December has been superb. So we've watched in the past where Kobe Bryant can take off on the defensive end because of it be one guy. That's the problem that the Heat creates. You have to defend the perimeter with Wade and LeBron. Brian, nice cut. The finish. We talk about good starts to the season. Lamar Odom has been excellent so far this year. Brian trying to swat it away from behind. Wade kicks it out to Bosch. Throws it down and a foul. Chris Bosch emphatically with the dunk and a chance for a three-point play. The Miami Heat, they've won eight straight on the road. Ten and five overall on the road. As James knocks down the three, and they've got a two-point lead. But if you just look at how they're passing the ball now as compared to their first month of the season, it is so much more fluid, so little hesitation, passing the ball right on target. Bosch puts it in. Andrew Bynum set to check in for the Lakers. Shot clock down to four. James sees that, fires up the three, and nails it. And the Heat go up by seven. Shot clock turned off. James puts it in. He's got eight points in the opening period. I think what you said about 
a lot of that pressure was coming for his players as Bosch knocks down another shot. I didn't think they handled the, their answers during their struggles that well. Kobe Bryant, too strong. Mario Chalmers, the backup point guard, who has played well since getting back in the rotation. That's been a big part of Miami's help with all the talk of the big three as Wade gets inside. Nice move from Dwayne Wade. The establishment of a center position to let Bosch play the power forward and the point guards to allow the other guys the freedom has really made a difference. Well, I think they're in a great rotation right now. They know when they're playing. They know how they're playing. And putting Chalmers as Bryant finally scores with an emphatic dunk. Chalmers, I don't know if Bynum got a piece of it, but he altered it. They credit him with a block. Nice pass to Brown. Kobe Bryant, who leads the team in assists, gets his third of the afternoon. Kobe has a special gift, and his, his gift has been um, his zeal, competitive, uh, competitive drive that he has. Um, and he doesn't accept it uh, to lose. He doesn't accept not challenging. Um, sometimes it works against us as a team, and most of the time it works for us because um, he can will his way into you know, positive things. Are we just going to let that Dwayne Wade spin pull up go by without even a mention? I mean, that's a top 10 play. Makes He makes it look uh, so easy. Well, it's even funnier how you slam the brakes on giving props to Kobe and his mentality <laughs> off of the spin move. Chalmers a three. I mean, this guy, like, he's made two passes that are incredible. He makes the bucket that's incredible, and he's the second best player on his team. Are you kidding me? Seven boards already for Bosch. He's left open. At that time, and Paul Gasol. Gasol sixth in the NBA in boards. Gasol still without a point. Bryant inside, quick move. Chalmers saying, where was the help? <laughs> Way to the back. And got hit by Odom. He took off far from the rim. And now he'll get to the free throw line. Gasol. Bryant, tough shot, banks it in. That was a difficult angle. <laughs> Make a puppet of him. <laughs> shot clock down to five. It was kind of a knuckleball. Ilgauskas couldn't get it. Artest does. Bryant leaked the other way, catches the pass, and Wade gets back to deny the shot. Stripped down low. Bryant upset and a technical foul on Kobe Bryant. This is good defense, not allowing him to get to his spot. You're battling and then comes up with the strip. Right now his team down by nine. They've scored 29 points that we played. I mean, just under three minutes to go remaining in the first half. This is one of the highest scoring teams in the NBA. James nails the three. And the lead is back up to 12 for Miami. The Heat, 5 of 10 from downtown. Again, they're one of the better three-point shooting teams in the league. Artest answers back. Brian has really been passing the ball well today. Even on the ones they've missed, he could have had three or four more assists. He's got five, even with the low shooting percentage, as Bosch able to put it in. This is a good game to pad your rebounding stats with all the missed shots. It has been a rough offensive first half. Chalmers misses. Odom. Here's the beauty of Odom. He can rebound, bring the ball up, set it up, distribute. Nice feed. The sixth assist for Kobe Bryant. And Gasol makes it a seven-point game. Our test all over James. Bosch from outside. Puts it in. 18 points for Chris Bosch. And James and our tests. Will skirmish after the ball goes through the basket. Bosch again was excellent. He's guarded by Odom. Wade flips it up and in. At long stride. Well, you still think back as Kobe Bryant nails it. When they won the championship in 2006, the performance he put on in the finals that year was just incredible. Talk about carrying a team to a title. Four straight grand slams. And that's no knock on 
an excellent support cast that deserved every bit of the accolades they received, but Wade was sensational. Ogowskis hits the jumper. Well, they deserve credit, but he dominated that series from the point where Miami and took I, over. I like what Kevin Garnett is doing as Carlos Arroyo misses. To me, the way he anchors them defensively in Boston, that's a tough guy to vote against. Bryant for three. Well, the slow starts for Gasol and Bryant have turned around, and the Lakers within six. Fisher inside of our test. A little too casual with that shot. Arroyo nails the jumper. Arroyo has played well for them. Our test, who's made no secret as Wade is fouled about how he's had to deal with things. He's talked openly about seeing a psychiatrist and having some health issues, mental health issues himself, and realizes for kids it's such an important thing that many times goes unnoticed and is looked down upon. He's trying to change the perception of it. James knocks down the three, and a good three-point shooting continues for Miami. By the way, the longest road winning streak in NBA history is 16, so the Heat have a ways to go with that. That was the Lakers. The Lakers team that won 33 in a row as Wade gets hit, and he'll get to the line. But you make a great point, Coach, because the bottom line is you could have a team that's winning basketball games but headed for disaster because their habits are wrong. Not a lot of free throws by the Lakers. Now four of eight as Odom misses badly on the second. James grabs another rebound, his eighth. James powers in. Unstoppable. And it's a 16-point lead. Drive trying to urge some defense. Elgowskis is such an unbelievable shooter for a high 7-3. Big Z still knocking him down in his 13th year in the league. Under four minutes remaining. A very low-scoring game for the high-scoring Lakers. Wade, line drive. 18 for Wade. James looking. Fires for three. That's good as the shot clock expires. And LeBron James, 10 of his 21 here in the third. The Heat this year have had a lead going into the fourth quarter on the road eight times as Bosch puts it in. They're 8-0. They've not surrendered that lead when they've led going into the fourth. Bynum catches. Feeds stolen by James. His third steal, Wade can't finish. James right there on the follow. Miami Heat defense, we've seen it a couple of times this season. It's off. As Chalmers lines up, nails the three, and it's a 15-point game again. And they're hitting their shots, but again, it's their defense that's doing it all, setting the tone. Blake trying to do something against James. All he does is foul him. And he'll go to the free throw line. James finding Dampier. And Eric Dampier makes it a 21-point lead. The Heat blowing out the Lakers. Remember the Lakers Tuesday night, they lost by 19 at home to Milwaukee. Shannon Brown takes it hard to the glass. Wild shot though, Brown on the finish. Regardless, he will battle down to the end as his team down by 18. And the final seconds, Miami Heat defeat the Los Angeles Lakers 96 to 80. Wasn't really that close at all in the second half. As the fans make their way across the Bay Bridge from San Francisco to Oakland. We've got one final NBA gift to unwrap on this Christmas night as the Portland Trailblazers take on the Golden State Warriors. The fifth game of Christmas Day. We welcome you to Oracle Arena here in Oakland, California. The Golden State Warriors 9 and 18 taking on the Portland Trailblazers who come in a game over 500 at 15 and 14. Merry Christmas once again, everybody. Terry Gannon along with Fran Priscilla for Golden State, a Christmas present. They get Stephen Curry back in. He's been out with an ankle injury. His backcourt mate, one of the most exciting scorers in the NBA that not enough people know about, Monte Ellis. Oh, I love watching him play, Terry. 40 points three times this year. Only player in the NBA to do that. Explosive score. It'll be interesting to see how that backcourt remeshes again. Trailblazers come in winning seven of their last ten. They've won three in a row. Their starting lineup, Andre Miller at the point. Wesley Matthews, undrafted. Second-year player, Batum, Aldridge, and Canby. And for Golden State, Curry and Ellis, the explosive backcourt. Darrell Wright, David Lee, came over in that trade from New York. And Lou Amundsen, the fifth-year player from UNLV, who has been out 
the first 20 games this year with a fractured right index finger. So he gets a start once again, his fourth straight start for the Warriors. Right, another rebound off the Aldridge miss. Ellis the spin to the left hand. Tremendous in the open court, strong. The thing you love about him is he can go either way, drives left or right with equal acuity. Curry fades and misses his first shot of the game. Terry, one of the underrated things about Wesley Matthews is how well he moves without the ball. And you got to go back to college when he played at Marquette with two very good guards to understand he likes that. Step back, Deuce, foot was on the line, but Curry gets the jumper. He's one for two, and it's a two-point game. Amundsen gets loose inside off the glass and in. They swing it to Miller, 15-foot line drive jumper on the baseline, good. Andre Miller's range is about 15 and in, obviously. Not a great three-point shooter, 20% on the season. Career, really. Not a great three-point shooter? <laughs> One for 18. Not this man, though. From the deep corner, it's up and good. Wright's got another one. Nice little set inbounds play. They post it up. Monte Ellis. Ellis, a quick first step right around Dante Cunningham. Quick and strong, Terry, and can go both ways. What he does going to his right, he can do just about equally to his left. But well, Lee gave it right back to Ellis. Look at that. Elevates for the deuce. How pretty is he in the open court? Wow, tremendous. A very sound young player. Ellis doing what he does best. Well, Eight corner jumper. Yeah, what he does best is scores in so many different ways. That's what makes him so difficult to defend. Backcourt working together. Miller picked up his first, team's fourth. Lee, let the, he's shooting with confidence tonight. He's smart before the game told us we need him to look to shoot, to shoot the outside jumper much more, and he's doing it. Blazers going zone here. Second time we've seen the zone. Ellis uh -oh. says maybe not for long. Yeah, and the last time they went zone, Ellis got right to the rim just as easily, just blew the layup. I don't think we'll see zone much tonight. I think he's <laughs> laughing at that zone right now. He's got 18 here in the first half. What'd you say about a slow start? Nor is Curry. A little bit short. And, and it does take a while to get the legs back into it. On your jumper. Look at that. Get oh, out Never looked at the basket, Monte Ellis. Hey, he doesn't need to. You should have seen the shot he hit Tuesday night, right? Matthews, no chance to stay with him. But that's nothing, friend. You know what he was doing before the game? Watch this. He was working on his over-the-head shots. Why not? He got <laughs> and then nonchalantly walks over. Time for an autograph. Yep. I'll go to the locker room, get ready for the game. It's been a while since they've had an all-star Golden State, and it won't be easy for him to make that all-star team. Amundsen just off the bench, fighting his way. Ellis, yes. Now well, this is good energy right now for the Warriors. They have not been healthy for a while. Thank you very much, Monte. By my count, 70 points over the last game and a half so far. What are you seeing tonight in particular that's getting you open? Uh, really, my teammates uh, setting great screens. Uh, I don't know, it looks like they confuse what they want to do with me. And um, I'm just taking whatever they give me. How do you guys translate this in the second half? Obviously, having a great scoring night. It's only a one-point game. How do you how do you turn this around and get this finished in the second half? Man, we need to get defensive stops. Uh, we need to come back out third quarter, use it our quarter. Um, get a lot of defense, um, deflections, a lot of defensive stops to get back on that end and run. Good luck. We'll see you in the second half. Lou Amundsen along the baseline, the reverse lay-in. We go back and forth. The lead back to one for Portland. Marcus playing with three fouls now. Starts the break for the Warriors. Ellis took a look this time. Actually <laughs> eyed the basket. Same one eye. <laughs> Only needed one eye that time. <laughs> you know, I think Keats March done a nice job with this team. They've got to have some defensive integrity every night. Don't have that yet. And they need more pieces, Terry. They're 17 million under the cap next year. They got some tradable guys. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with the backcourt of Curry and Ellis Ellis. because they are so talented. Curry halfway down and out. He's one for seven now. Lee well, can't stay with Matthews. Taken away by Wright. Curry and Ellis on the break. Steph's going to keep it this time and get the bucket. Now, this is a team that averages over 100 a game. They do not mind running. 
And Darrell Wright, that time the catalyst. Shot clock running out. Miller the miss. Here comes Curry against that pressure from Andre. Takes it all the way to the left hand. Wright doesn't struggle. Deep corner three, Darrell Wright, seventh year player. No ingrained habits right now. Ellis rattles it home from beyond the arc. To the corner, Curry. Tough night shooting the basketball. Fernandez, 4-3. And the three goggles come out. He has been red hot. Probably no coincidence that when they parked Brandon Roy on the shelf. Nice dunk. Lee the bucket. Could be a three. Curry waits for it. Long way to go. Stepping over Mills and Fernandez. No, that'll do it. So Golden State comes out of the locker room, starts the third very well. Portland ends it well. A two-point lead for the Blazers. Stephen Curry still struggling. Yeah, you're looking at a guy in Steph Curry that shoots over 40% from behind the arc and just not able to knock some down tonight. First game back in a couple weeks. Quick shot from Lee, baseline 15 footer up and good. Curry, fade. Williams high into the air for the rebound. Strong rebound. He's got a reach. Cunningham the block. Curry couldn't control. Ellis way out top, guarded by Fernandez. Wright says, ah, I'll take care of things right now. Long three, and we are tied up at 97. Taken away the cross court pass. There goes right. Forget it. Monte Ellis set that play up because he did not hit the screen and stop. He kept coming and he took away the option on the dribble penetration. Miller, the pull up. Strong rebound. Ellis hesitates out to Williams, spots up beyond the arc, and there's a three for Reggie Williams. The lead is five. Ellis, Aldridge just left him. You can't leave Monte Ellis. 34 in the game for Ellis. Great read, anticipation by Monte. Floats in for the bucket. And he's playing on one leg right now because he's hobbling. Miller around the screen quickly. Take it away right off the glass by Radmanovic. Big defensive play, and they're going to have to foul now and do. May have gained a lot of confidence from his teammates with that shot the other night to send it to overtime. This man doesn't need to gain any confidence. Golden State with a win at home on Christmas night. First time since 1984 that they have played on Christmas Day, and they walk away with a win. Stephen Curry, a tough night shooting the basketball, coming back off the ankle injury, just 2 of 15, but his backcourt mate picked him up once again. Monte Ellis, 39 points, 13 for 26, and 3 of 5 beyond the arc. Del Curry watching his son here on Christmas night, but Ellis stole the show and he's standing by with Rick. Thank you, 39 points. Terrific first half, it slowed down a little bit. Tell me what your thinking was in the final minute and a half. Um, we're gonna try to make plays and, you know, we did that, you know, I made a couple jump shots. Um, we hit a big couple jump shots. I got a couple jump shots from um, Darrell and uh, Reggie hit a big one. And, you know, that's all. I, I just wanted to, you know, continue to, to move and get everybody else involved because they was defending me differently. You were gimping around there a little bit at the end. What happened? Um, when Wes Matthews shot the three, I uh, came down on his foot. Um, kind of tweaked it a little bit, but you know I had to stick it out and try to get this win. All right, and this is two two clutch wins for you guys in a row. What does it do for this team? Oh uh, man, we just keep chipping at it. We're gonna turn it around. Uh, we continue to play together, uh, play hard, play smart every night, and you know defend our home court. We'll be all right. Congratulations, Merry Christmas. Let's go back to you, Terry. Christmas Day in Manhattan. Always a great holiday feel here in New York. No snow, but a mild 43 degrees.
just past noon time as the NBA season gets underway at Madison Square Garden. The Boston Celtics facing the New York Knicks, a matchup that dates back to the early days of the NBA. Shot clock is down to three. Bad pass. Anthony looking for Chandler. Boston Celtics won both their preseason games over Toronto. Rondo gets inside and he draws the foul. It's on Douglas. Here's Douglas. That's moved by Tony Douglas in his third year out of Florida State. Rondo down in a hurry. Garnett, after it was knocked away from Rondo, able to get to it. Well, Rondo's a one-man fast break for Boston. I think it's so important for him to push the ball every possession. This is not a running team. Rondo with the steal, has a three-on-two. He goes all the way, and he's hacked by Anthony. Field played well the first four months. was not the same following the trade for Carmelo Anthony. Never seemed to be able to get into a beautiful move by Rondo. And here's an example of where New York has to improve. Defensively against the pick and roll. Next opening against a Celtic team that swept them in last season's first round of the playoffs, although those two games in Boston were were very tough. Rondo now has seven points. You know, I thought he looked more comfortable with his jump shot in the two preseason games that they played against Toronto. Fields gets inside. Rebounded by Bass. Nice move by Rondo. And he draws the foul. Oh, is he good at drawing contact in transition? It's the first game of the season, but you have to limit the minutes to Kevin Garnett and also to Ray Allen. That would Ray, really. Kevin, we always do, so that's not really a change. All right, thanks a lot. Back to you, Mark. All right, Craig, here's Rondo on a fast break following the steal. Boston is playing 5 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Garnett from deep. Jeff Green out for the season, recovering from a heart condition. He was detected during the preseason physical. He will have surgery in a couple of weeks. And we all wish for Jeff the very best. Yes, at the other end. Despite that last kind of last second prayer from Stoudemire, we're seeing more plays like this where Boston really tightening up defensively. It's Rondo using his speed. Watch out Rondo going to the distance. He has 13 points. He's the high man for the Celtics. Oh, behind the back by Rondo. Fanning Bass. What a pass. How did he see him? And then the left hand behind the back pass. That was beautiful. Mike D'Antoni upset and takes a timeout. Brandon Bass, eight points the last three and a half minutes. Chandler went at him, but nobody was there to help. The former general manager of the Knicks, Donnie Walsh, who did such a good job clearing cap space, making these moves possible. Nice maneuver here by Rondo. Rondo with room. Yes. One shot. Rondo knocking down another jumper. Paul Pierce and Rondo and Allen able to handle the scoring goal. He can just focus deep on the defense. Here's Rondo ahead of the field. Good lead pass from Allen and the Celtics battling back are with an eight. They have the power play going. Rodney, I should say Rondo is fouled. He didn't launch a lot of you know, long jumpers. He was really being aggressive. He had a couple of tough ones he didn't go for. Rondo with the steal. And Rondo lays it hard. Boston with seven unanswered. They are with it five. To trailing by as many as 17. Here is Allen. Wow. Yes! Ray Allen. Rondo out guarded by Shumper. He's saying no, there's no way. Here's Allen for three. Ray Allen. The NBA's all time leading three point shooter. Passing by our original last February with Ricky Forsyth. We're going to broadcast him again. Here's Rondo again ahead of the field. Rondo. Just under five left here on the third. Bad pass. Rondo with the steal. Rondo oh. delivers. Oh, oh, on the hop. Marquise Daniels from Rajon Rondo. Wow. Half court, left hand, about a 40-foot pass. Hits him on the fly. Shot clock to five. Rondo wheels in, and he is fouled. Final minutes of this third quarter. Shot clock is down to six, and it's Rondo again. Rajon Rondo, 10 of 17, 
29 points, eight assists. I think that's about his seventh uncontested layup in this game. Most of them have been in transition. Shumpert hurt himself once again. Brandon Bass, what a performance. This was one of the newer Celtics acquired from Orlando on that deal for Big Baby Davis and Vaughn Wafer. Hicks try to go to a trap, does not work. Bass gets inside. Celtics have won the last eight meetings against the Knicks, including that four-game sweep in the playoffs. Rondo again from the oh. outside. I mean, if he's going to make that, there's nothing you can do, because you have to go under that screen if you're New York. Here's Garnett. Kevin Garnett with 13 points, and the Celtics lead by three. Garnett again. Unbelievable. Celtics have two 20-second timeouts remaining. The Knicks lead by two. There's the switch. Here's Daniels getting inside to tie the game. He's pushing and shoving between Allen and Chandler. Shot clock at five and a foul. The Knicks 106, the Celtics 104. Here's Garnett looking to tie it. The Knicks have defeated the Celtics. And now let's meet today's starters first for the visiting Cavaliers. Number 23, LeBron James. LeBron James is going back to Cleveland. I understand it's the hardest thing that you could ever do in your basketball career is to try to win a championship. And I've been two up and two down in four years, so I know. Just because you lose LeBron doesn't mean that you lose any sense of pride or a sense of winning. I'm going to do what's necessary and get back to the mountaintop. The game that everyone's going to be talking about. Prime time. It's going to be joyous. <laughs> Yesterday is over with, and the future is the unknown. I've always lived in the present. Well, back in Miami at the sold out American Airlines Arena. That was anticlimactic <laughs> with regards to to his announcement in the starting lineups as they went to the second starter immediately before any kind of crowd reaction could even build one way or the other. Wade got a piece of it. Chalmers with another nice pass. And Wade finishes at the other end. Life very different without LeBron James. Again, the four consecutive appearances in the finals, the two championships, but now they're a team that's three games under 500 as Wade is off to a good start. Best player on the floor so far for three and a half minutes has been Irving. A beautiful move there. He's four for four. And it bothers me when people talk about, well, his, his assist totals. He's not a guy that's going to play the point guard position piling up assist numbers. He's a guy that can flat out score. Luol Dang knocks down a three on the pass from Dwayne Wade. And Miami with a five-point lead. Here's James. Good transition defense by the Heat. Four turnovers already for Cleveland. And the crowd seemed to be a little extra excited when James turns it over as Wade knocks down another. We're going to hear a big roar now as the Cavs will call time. No, James doesn't call timeout. Dave Blatt wanted him to call it, and James just drove hard to the basket and drew the foul. Cole into the game for the first time. Wade off the dribble again. Wade, a terrific start. He's four of five from the field, eight points. And he's going to be more dangerous now. They're playing him a lot at the, the center position when they go small. Putting him in pick and roll, pick and pop situations. You're asking a defensive five to cover the ground of love at the three-point line. It's a tough task. You saw the crowd get a little into that matchup as James was guarding Dwayne Wade. Throws a nice pass wide open. Mike Miller hits a three. Miller and James Jones, two other former members of the Heat who won titles, now with the Cavs. They're going to have some video tributes later in the game as well. James gets inside, gets fouled, and a chance for a three-point play. And that's his first field goal. Well, this is how the Heat started the other night against Philadelphia. They played a great first half and then just collapsed 
in the second half where they had nine points in the fourth quarter. Alley oop to Thompson. James barrels into Dang. Ball loose. Everybody fighting for it. Haslam on the floor. Goes to Wade. Wade for the layup. Great effort play by Haslam. Waiters gets inside and lays it in. Cole to the basket. Oh, thrown down by Wade. Wade is fired up here in the first quarter. He's got 10 points. Make it 12. James goes right at white side, who commits the foul, and James will go back to the line. Cole fires Marion ahead to James. James charges and grabbed by Haslam. And that's going to be three fouls on Haslam. And then James right back to the line. Irving, left-handed, blocked by Whiteside. Impressive rejection there. Wade's jump shot. Seven of ten from the field for Dwayne Wade. James drives and gets whacked. And I also like Wade's mentality. Okay, show support, show love, let's recognize it. I'm going to even embrace you and acknowledge it, but I'm coming after you. Let's not get it twisted. I'm coming after you. He's been in attack mode, Mark, right from the start. James is guarding him now. Cole on the drive. Left-handed, flips it up and in. 16 points for Dwayne Wade. There's just no resistance at the basket. James drives, kicks it back out. Irving has to shoot quickly. Does and hits as the pass. shot clock expires. That's a heck of a pass. And a timeout call by Eric Spocia. That pass was his fifth assist. He's had a couple of beauties, Mark. Well, you get point guards in this league that, they, that cannot make this play. Yeah. This was the scene for LeBron James. LeBron James. Greeting his good buddy and former friend. That was after the video tribute. As he admitted to Doris Burke before that he was going to have some butterflies before this one. In a game that right now Miami has been sharp, playing with terrific energy. Wade steps back, and it's a three. <laughs> Wade, 19 first half points. Again, you see Love switches on to Wade, and then James switches back and to Wayne Wade. Great balance, great extension, and follow through, and knocks it in. James, by the way, now 6 of 11 from the free throw line. Chalmers knocks down the three. That's their fifth three-pointer. Yeah, this is the largest lead of the game, a 15-point advantage. James pulls back, tough shot, nails it. His second field goal. Ten points, five assists, and four turnovers for LeBron James. Wade draws the foul on Miller. And Wade will go to the line for the first time today. A 17-point lead. Love gets inside, uses his body beautifully to shield away from Anderson. And given some room, dared to shoot by Thompson. Now penetrates, kicks it out Wade. Wade for three. Bang! 60 points for the Heat here in the first half. James just two of six from the field, but he's been to the free throw line 13 times here in the first half. Backs up with Birdman on him. Backs up again, puts up the three, and puts it in. His first three-pointer. That's good defense, though, by Chris Anderson. Again, Cleveland without Anderson Barajal, the torn Achilles tendon, and done for the season. That happened in their last game. They had really started to play well, 12-3 and three in their last 15, as James hits the jump shot. James to the basket, an easy one. And it's a nine-point lead. Wade's jump shot is good. <laughs> 11 of 17 from the field. And I agree with what Coach said earlier. At some point, you've got to put LeBron James on him. One possession he had where he didn't get a quality look was the end of the first half when James defended him. Chalmers blocked by Love. Anderson misses. Knocked out of his hands by James. Right to Chalmers. Chalmers misses. James ahead. Sean Marion basket hanging and throws it down. And Eric Sposa needs a timeout. Wade. Grimacing, a little shaken up after taking a spill. Seven to shoot. Looks okay now. Rifles a pass to Dang, cutting to the basket. Pretty reverse from Luau Dang. 
Wade again signals to the bench to come on out. That was one sorry Cleveland team, too. <laughs> come on now, let's be honest. That wasn't like you're going up against Dwayne Wade and Luol Deng. Well, in the four years LeBron James was in Miami, Cleveland in that four-year span had the worst record in the NBA. Nice feet inside, and Anderson. And the crowd loves that play. Della Vadova pokes it away. Here's James, dang in pursuit. James throws it down, and a technical foul for hanging on the rim. I think because he lifted himself up, and there it didn't appear to be anybody underneath him at the time. So, Cavs take the lead, poked away by Dang. Three to shoot. James to the basket, goes right at Anderson and draws the foul. Wade's missed his last nine shots. Looks up with four to shoot. Waiters, excellent job defensively. Wade gets away and draws the foul. And Wade shaking up again, or at least grimacing. Irving on the pull-up. Can't get it to go. Anderson tips it to himself. Anderson's played a lot of minutes, 25. He's got eight points and seven rebounds. 25's a lot of minutes for him. Entry pass, Anderson with a finish. Wade finds the open man. It's a nine-point lead. Wade with 29, five and five. Waiter strips him of the ball, throws it ahead to James, and James throws it down on the foul. Ranger put his hand on him inexplicably as James was clearly ahead of him and a chance for a three-point play. Bad turnover by Wade. Again, outstanding defense by Waiters. Throws it ahead this time to LeBron James. And if you're Danny Granger, just get away. James drives, finds love, blocked from behind. Wade with the rejection for the Heat. This would be such a great win for them without Chris Bosh as James Hill hits the three from the 28-foot line. Wade to the basket, banks it in. 31 for Wade. And the Miami Heat will spoil the return of Le LeBron James here to Miami. Dwayne, at one point you relinquished a 17-point lead, went down one, were able to respond. Yeah. How? We've been, this is what we've been dealing with all year. You know, we're still trying to find out our total identity. And uh, especially coming out of halftime, we're trying to find, as a unit, how to continue to play the same way we played in the first half. But I thought it was great that we stayed resilient and we found a way to win. You talked about consistency and trying to find that. What did you discover in a win like this today that will help you moving forward? Well, you know, after losing a 23-point lead against Philadelphia tonight, it was easy to be down on ourselves, but we wasn't. And uh, I got to get credit to Luau Dang. Played a hell of a game to guard the best player in the game and to be able to have the numbers he had on the other end of the floor. He was the player of the game tonight. Can you describe, because he's, it's often said about Dang, there's a, no way to measure him by his numbers. So yeah. how will you measure him? Um, you know, he just he's a true professional. You know, he's still trying to find his way on this team. But as you see, you measure him by, he takes the challenge every night um, on other teams' best players. And some nights he have an explosion night, some nights he don't. But he gives us everything he has. When you're healthy, you're pretty good. Can, uh, you, can you describe the level at which you're playing right now? Uh, just, you know, trying to help this team. And uh, I'm, com I'm comfortable. I missed too many shots in the second half tonight. I got to work on that. But uh, all is good. And Dwayne Wade, the way he started the game, Mark, really set the tone for the Miami Heat. Well, he was special. And he might as well have said thank you to LeBron James when they were just talking because playing with LeBron James has kept his body fresh allowing him to finish his career in this type of fashion. He's the man on this basketball team. They're going to play through him. They need him to make plays for himself and also make plays for others. And he certainly had his foot on the gas pedal all night long, especially in that first half. Turned back the hands of time and made plays time and time again. Miami Heat leave here with a big-time victory. Not a white Christmas on the shores of Lake Erie. Welcome to Cleveland, Ohio, and the NBA on Christmas Day on ABC. LeBron's town in LeBron's house. King James and the Cavaliers take on Shaquille O'Neal, Dwayne Wade, and the Miami Heat. Well, you know Dwayne Wade and LeBron James are really good friends, and they usually spend a lot of time on the phone.
leading up to a big game just to get ready. But Dwayne was telling us we really haven't said a whole lot leading up to this game because of the recent struggles of both teams. But we have been texting the theme of the text. We ain't looking too good right now, but we're going to figure it out. And Dwayne said that we really try to push each other just to, to try to inspire confidence in the other, even when we're playing against each other, because we're fans, we're friends, and we want the other to do the best, whatever they have to do to succeed. I asked LeBron, do you guys exchange gifts? He said, yeah, we're going to exchange gifts today, maybe with a couple of elbows. <laughs> How about some 40-point games? Now let's go right away. James, working on Jarrell right. Hello! But then you're stocking on Christmas morning, and the Cavaliers strike first. And Wade goes right to the basket. Shaq couldn't squeeze it. Now it's Cleveland four on two. James to Hughes. What a start for the Cavaliers here on this Christmas day. Cleveland has opened six of seven from the field. They lead by nine, and Pat Riley will stop it here with a timeout. LeBron doing a job in the open court once again. You know, Lisa mentioned LeBron James against Dwayne Wade. It's happened 13 times. 8-5 is the record. Here's Wade talking about LeBron. I think it's always great to play against someone you know is an unbelievable competitor. You know, someone you know that, you know, for four, four quarters, they're just going gonna to give you everything. And, um, and then someone that you have a relationship with, it, it makes the game, you know, it makes the game fun. But at the same time, you don't want to lose. You know, in the back of your mind, he don't want to lose to me, and I don't want to lose to him. Pavlovich warding off Wade, who draws the defense. Pitched it to Jason Williams. Oh, a little nifty move by Williams. He may not have the knees to handle the flash that he once had, Hubie, but he still has a lot of competent game. Hughes drew Shaq to come out. Ogoskis couldn't get the scoop. And here comes Wade with some numbers. Yeah, I, I like this. See, this will get them out. It'll get them out on the break. That was a beautiful shot block. But anytime that you're in the zone and you get the opposition to shoot, the ball rebounds long, you're out in a three-on-two break. Gooden watched by Davis. Nice cut by James. You can see him cut aggressively to the ball at 17 10. James steps back. Hit all three field goals. LeBron has seven, four assists, three rebounds. The Heat right now, they're getting what they want. There's no doubt about it. They're getting in situations, getting good opportunities, and then getting down inside the painted area. The big thing for them is they've got to start converting like that shot. <laughs> you just convert like that, please. That's right, please. Shaq comes over and blocks Ilgowskis. He got hit in the side of the head. Ilgowskis just looked over here because he heard you <laughs> said block. He blocked my head. <laughs> come on, come on. There's Wade. Diving in the lane, drawn the defense and pitching to Earl Barron. And a chance for Barron to complete the three-point play. Now the good passing, Mike, the good cutting. Oh, it's starting to open up, and here comes Miami. Dwayne to the deck, Ildros gets the rebound, taken oh, yeah. away by Jason Williams. Feeds oh, Wade. nice play. Beautiful anticipation by the veteran, and Wade now has a half dozen points. What was the favorite gift that he got you? My prized possession is the SL500 hard top convertible bins that he bought me when he first got into the league, first time in the league. What a boy. <laughs> I love him. I was, I'm blessed. I wouldn't trade him for the world. I guess you wouldn't. <laughs> Even before the league. <laughs> James Ogoskis, Barajal, Pavlovich, and Hughes. The starting five in for Mike Brown's Cavaliers, the reigning NBA Eastern champs. And Ogoskis steps out. You can't beat that. Great center range. James of three. Off the mark. Wade able to keep it alive. The hit ahead for Davis. Ricky Basket hanging. Gets the hoop, and it's a four-point lead. Shot clock is off. It's in the hands of Wade. Watched by Devin Brown. Oh, Splits the it. double. Williams. Jackson going to have to take it. Wade. Oh. Got it to beat the clock. Of course, they will look at it via replay when it goes in with triple zero, the instant replay system at midcourt here in the NBA. Those lights around the backboard help them, but that looked good. It looks like Miami will have a big quarter, a 30-point second quarter. Poor pass by Hughes, sends Wade with Davis the other way. A nice finish by Ricky Davis. Never shot to shoot and can score in streaks. Nice dive down by Haslam, teed up by Dwayne Wade and the Miami Heat have exchanged on Cleveland that 10-point lead the Cavaliers held early in the second quarter. Nothing ever going in this sequence. Shaq almost actually took a field goal attempt from outside the paint, which would have been rare. James oh, spinning. Right. Beautiful move by LeBron James. Can't play the buzzer. You can't play the buzzer. you got to play the whistle. Tough catch for Shaq. Unable to pull it down. 
James in look full out, flight. Look out. Wade knew what was coming. Dwayne bailed out. Now not to get the fourth foul, not to get banged around. Offense running through Wade to Barron. Earl misses, and James with the rebound for LeBron. It's four boards, six assists, 15 points. Long, nice. looping steps to good. He made that look so easy. See, most guys in that situation might would shoot the ball because they wait. Hey, no one would say anything to you. Not only does he not shoot the ball, but he gives it up. Gibson for three. Daniel Gibson continues his phenomenal three-point shooting on the season and his 13 in a row for the reigning Eastern Conference champion. Uh -oh, James look out here, look out. Steal. LeBron! 15 in a row. LeBron James always in the top 10 in steals. There they are, drafted in 2003. One pick five, one pick one. They have become multi-millionaires with their endorsements, their shoe deals as well, debuting new shoes and on this Christmas day. LeBron, the MVP of the, uh, or should take Dwayne, the MVP of the finals in 2006. LeBron taking his team there. And we talked about how their friendship has even grown beyond their 13 regular season meetings. Wade winning eight, LeBron five, with their uh, membership of Team USA. Gibson steps oh, into another yes. three. How about Gibson today? James has nine assists. Ten assists. Gibson, another Talk about patience. Yeah, he, yeah. he just accepted Darrell right in his face, then the double team. He allowed Gilgauskas to roll down inside, and he spotted Gibson in the other corner. Amazing. Wade gets bumped, and we have free throws coming. It leads 11, largest of the afternoon for the 12 and 16 Cavaliers. Wade off. He's missed 11 of 15 field goal attempts. He's missed 6 of 12 free throws. Well, they, he doesn't have any smoothness in the second half. Oh, 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 oh look out. That's smooth. That is smooth with an extra O in it. Foul 5 on Shaq. Six and a half to go. Oh, look at Wade split it. You get fouled by Drew Gooden. And that's what I love about uh, you when you watch Wade and James, Allen Iverson still does it quite well with Denver. And just in one set, one trip of, of the ball, they can put you in foul trouble. They can get a couple of fouls on you and get your team into the bonus right away. Barrish out, good job inside. Dwayne, get all the way in there. On Barrish out to convert. Spectacular finish by Dwayne. James will come to the line. Quite different from the atmosphere here when the Cavs had their last home game. Booed in the first quarter, and they lost to Golden State just a couple of days ago. James. I, I like the call. LeBron James told the point, I'll hold the ball. Let me, let me spot up over here. And then once he received it, he was going to shoot. Wade responds with his second field goal of the half. And three of the four teams you're seeing today on ABC. We'll see when we rejoin you. The weekend before the Super Bowl. James Farajal. Gorgeous pass by LeBron, who has been an assist machine this afternoon. Well, why not on Christmas Day? Given gifts, a dozen of them. Wade is uh, padding the numbers here at the back end of the game. 22, eight assists, six boards. Oh, my. James to 25 points. As it is, breaks your heart. James 25 and 12 assists. Gooden 18 and 9 points. Wade leading Miami with 22. O'Neal 13 points, 9 rebounds. Christmas Day final. Cavs 96. Heat 82. Merry Christmas, Coach. Good team. Welcome to an NBA Christmas special presented by State Farm. Fourth game of our five game extravaganza this afternoon and evening. The Spurs and Rockets getting ready to go at it here in Houston, Texas. Yeah, they're all decorated and ready to go. Why not? It's time to be festive here the holiday season. Here's James Harden, second in the league in scoring, just under 29 points a game. Howard on the offensive glass, denied by Duncan. Houston 21 in defensive efficiency. San Antonio first 
in the NBA. As Harden buries the jumper, and PJ, that's the shot that J.B. Bickerstaff expects to be there in this game for Houston and Harden. He's right, and that's exactly how San Antonio will play him. They want to take away his three-point shot. They want to take away his free throws. Harden goes around Leonard, and it sets up Jones for the flush. Well, that's what happens when you have to help out on James Harden's penetration. Open Mills will give it up to Leonard. You bet on a three. That's the difference right now. He's become a knockdown three-point shooter. Of course, Dia gets a great look. Kawhi Leonard penetrate and pass. But the other thing that's been a problem, their defense has just, you know, they feed off their defense. Right. And the truth is they're taking the ball out of bounds too many times because they're giving up so many points. Terrence Jones in the lane. Pop's not happy with their defense at all. Here's Ariza. I just squeeze it in, and Kawhi Leonard just shut that door. This is a Rockets team, 7-27, as Moti Yunus banks that home. 27th in field goal defense, 21st in defensive efficiency. They've really struggled on that end of the floor. Leonard, connects. I mean, you just would not have seen Kawhi Leonard taking that shot in the past. Greg Popovich talked to us before the game. He said he wants Kawhi Leonard to continue to shoot. He said, I'll tell you when you're shooting too much. He wants him to be aggressive. He wants Pop to be the one who says that's a bad shot. You don't decide for yourself. Get to the point where I have to tell you. Harden with four to shoot. Stolen by Leonard. Leonard in the open floor to the rim. His defensive instincts are so good, Ryan. He's like a defensive back. He just lurks there. He watches the floor. He knows what's coming. That's steal number three for Kawhi Leonard. He's only ninth in the league in steals. Last year's defensive player of the year. Green a little too strong. Leonard alone for the offensive board. Finally said, why not, and put it back home. Again, Kawhi fills the stat sheet. He's a good rebounder also. Harden, no. Capella skying over, but there's Leonard anticipating again his fourth steal. I don't know if they want to spur him on anymore. I think they want to just get they him. They want to rocket him on? Yeah, definitely. They want to jet fuel him on? <laughs> Harden does whatever they're beckoning for, laying it home, and it's a two-point game. Again, you talk about a guy who fills up a stat sheet. That's James Harden. He rebounds. He's an excellent passer. Gives you twos and threes, but he distributes the ball to his teammates. Two of nine from the floor now is Harden as Duncan buries the mid-range. As Harden connects. On the elbow jumper and better looks right away in this third quarter for Hart. Aldridge lobs it in. Leonard trying to work a reason with a shot clock waning. And Leonard shows off the array of offensive skills. Parker has his pass knocked away. And Howard will grab it and lead the break. Harden ahead of the field on the finish. And James Harden percolating here in the third. Beautiful defensive possession by Houston. The deflection, the steal. And Howard somehow pushed it down. At first, the rim said no, and then Howard said yes. This game is tied at 49. Harden harassed by Green. Harden gets him on his hip, step back pass. Capella to the hook. And Houston is back in front. Aldridge leans in, wanted the contact and fouled in, get it, and a gorgeous outlet from Howard. It springs Brewer, who's denied by Leonard on the block. Nice find from Harden, and Jones nifty off the window. Picked up right where he did in the first half. That's a tough finish over Tim Duncan. Here's Harden attacking all the way in, and the finish. Houston's taking control of the game here with their defense and aggressive offense. Resembles the first quarter. Leonard's a length to extend and finish. When you think about Houston, Ryan, they should be a good defensive team. Beverly's an excellent defender. Ariza is a really good defender. Dwight Howard is a great defender. They have a lot of people who are good defensively as the best defender in the league with an emphatic finish right there. And he's taken the Spurs back to within three, a 7-0 San Antonio run, and it happened like that. Harden finds Howard rolling to the rim. Uh, I thought Tim Duncan tried to foul him to make him shoot the free throws, and there was no call. Here's Parker trying to shake by Terry. Left it short, and here comes Harden on the break. Green good in transition, but that time he'll get called for the block. Nine points for Tim Duncan, seven rebounds as well. Five-point game, Harden 
on a three. And a big one for James Harden as Houston goes in front by eight. They forced him to his right hand, but they didn't have enough pressure. He knocked down the three. Leonard finds Duncan shuffling inside and finishing yet again. May have shuffled one extra step, but yeah. a good finish nonetheless. Now Duncan switched on Harden. Four to shoot. Harden will fire. And hit! James Harden has got cooking here in the fourth. Just when you needed him. Here's Ginobili. This basketball is like a hot potato, this possession. Batted around. All over it goes. No control. Can Leonard hit? Yes! Wow. On the roll! Ginobili will trigger in. Aldridge, Parker, Duncan, and Leonard. The others on the floor for San Antonio. Here's Parker. Waiting for Aldridge. Time is wasted. Yeah, that's not what they want. Spurs have to hurry. Leonard will heave. No. Clock winding. Leonard across his body, and that will do it. The Houston Rockets end the Spurs seven-game winning streak. 88-84, the final. Uh, once again, we welcome you to Los Angeles' second game of uh, this ABC doubleheader for the NBA on Christmas Day as Lamar Odom misses. It's the Lakers and the Phoenix Suns, a game that's starting to become one of the better rivalries as Grant Hill finishes for Phoenix down the other end. People forget how good a defensive coach Phil Jackson was when he was with the Chicago Bulls. This year, they're an outstanding defensive team. He certainly didn't forget, Mark. Well, he did. He, <laughs> he remembers back in the days when his team struggled against him. But when you add a Derek Fisher into your lineup, he is the guy that initially starts the defense, does a great job of setting the tone, as Kobe does just that, finding Trevor Rees underneath. Lakers just back from a four-game East Coast trip in which they went three and one. As you mentioned, they won eight of their last ten. Seven games over 500. Oh! and Marion with the one-handed finish. Simply make you sit back and wonder how good is this guy and his ability to, to probe the defense. Most feel as Nash gets inside. Of course, the two-time MVP deflect, deflected by Bryant who goes crashing into Celebrity Row. Good sportsmanship from the two. Everybody okay? apparently okay. Nice pass inside. Boris Diaw with the finish and another beautiful assist from Nash. Stevie, Merry Christmas, brother. Everybody has their own generic line when you can't remember somebody's name. His is brother. Some people say buddy, pal. This is brother. And he's oh, right on cue, Bryant, on a beautiful pass. Hey, guys, every game that Grant Hill plays is like another Christmas gift for him. After an injury plagued career and a year off, he said, it's great now to be in practice every day, to be in games every day, to be playing heavy minutes, and to be thinking about strategy and who I'm matching up against instead of how I'm going to feel physically the next day. 16 points a game, nearly 35 minutes per game. He has started every game, Mike, and that's a gift for the Suns. And I also think you have to give Phil Jackson a lot of credit. He has dealt with big name, big personalities, hard to deal with guys as all-stars are hard to deal with. He did a great job managing the situation. Kobe Bryant knocks it down. Ten points for Bryant. And the Lakers have their first lead after trailing by six. Nash hits a three. Steve Nash has not looked to shoot too much early as he knocks that one down. Andrew Bynum, who grew up in Plainsboro, New Jersey. He just played the game before this in New York. Spent several thousand dollars on tickets. Had about 40 family members at Madison Square Garden to watch him play. But he said it was worth it. Because he's really starting to come into his own. Well, of NBA players always have the largest families when they come home. <laughs> Stoudemire the finish. You know, 40 family members. I couldn't draw 40 people to a game that I coached at if I wanted to. <laughs> Alley oop pass. Perfect pass to Stoudemire. And that's six assists for Nash. Nash. A three. Steve Nash from downtown. One point game in the final minute of the first half. Bryant, Odom, inside, lays it in. Phoenix's pick and roll defense is just not going to get it done. Right there, uh, Leandro Barbosa's guard, Ariza, he's got to pull in and protect the basket. Nash knocks down another three. 13 points for Nash. He prefers to pass, but also realizes when his team needs him to shoot. Ariza, oh, the steal and the pass. Here comes Bryant the other way. On the attack, just floats it up there beautifully. Hill kicks it out. 
Shot clock down to seven. Haven't said that a lot today. Nash again from three-point range. Steve Nash with his fourth three-pointer of the game. And if you're going to go underneath the screen, the important thing as Stoudemire knocks down the jump shot, go underneath and explode. You have to make sure there's a sense of urgency to get back to the body of Steve Nash. Rajah Bell, one of the best perimeter defenders in the NBA. Gets up on Bryant, fires away, and banks it in. He's coming off the 39-point game in New York against the Knicks, where he went over the 20,000 career point mark. And Reese is shot in and out. Bynum just out working. Odom blocked by Stoudemire. Ball loose. Bryant, the fake, and the bank shot. Rajah Bell flips it up and short. Odom, eight rebounds for Odom. Alley in for Ariza. Oh, perfect pass. And the athletic Trevor Ariza with the finish. Sean Marion making his money, finishing down the other end. Off the turnover, Kobe Bryant getting in Gary Zielinski's face. Very close to getting a technical. He thought he was fouled on the previous play. <laughs> I know Maroon 5. <laughs> there he is. All right, how many people are in the band? Five. <laughs> Cinco, I got that. He goes from Ice Cube to Maroon 5. That's impressive. I have eclectic taste. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe Bryant fires away and nails it. Bryant now with 20 points on 7 of 11 from the field. He already has 8 points here in the third. Get me back in when Vujacic comes back in. <laughs> Vujacic. <laughs> we love your pronunciation sometimes. Bryant back to Adam. The finish. Fisher blocked by Nash. Fisher thought he was hit. D out of the rebound. Sasha Vujicic in his fourth year out of Slovenia. He's had some very good games recently. Former first-round pick has had stretches where he hasn't played, but he had a 19-point fourth quarter a couple of weeks ago. And he's 6-7 as Bell hits a three. Big bucket for Bell to bring the Suns back with it, too. Steve Nash hits a three. Five three-pointers for Nash. He's got 21, and the Suns back up by a point. Five to shoot. Bryant hits a three. Just got a little space and knocked it down. Bryant to the basket. Inside. Oh, what a finish from Bryant. Final seconds. Bell does not get it off in time. And that will end the third quarter. 14 third quarter points for Kobe Bryant. Steve Nash. Keeping his team positive. I think they thought he was going to pull up for a jumper here. You got to communicate and tell Roger Bell which way to send him. They don't communicate. They allow him to go to the hoop to a strong hand. Mama, there goes that man. All the way to the rim and finishing the reverse dunk. Yeah, the Lakers came into this game. They've won eight of their last ten. 17 and 10 overall. Jackson, you know, he's talking before the game, said that he likes the way they play, since perhaps exceeded expectations, but they're wary of their success. They were very good last year early, then were decimated by injuries. A little banged up right now. But Mark, wouldn't you say this is a much better team than last year? Well, this is a much better basketball team. They're very deep, they're talented. We're looking at plays being made. All of a sudden, Kobe Bryant trusting his teammates, and those guys are rewarding his trust in them. They are now finishes on the interior and knocking down shots. The Farmer fights over the screen. Skinner, that's a mind taking that shot, knocks it down. Eight points for Skinner. Good defense for Marion. And a whistle and a foul. Are they going to call it on Marion? And by the way, what a great article in the LA Times on Magic Johnson and all he's done for the LA community. Bill Plasky with a terrific article. Hey, oh, Kobe Bryant nails it. What's interesting, how hard he works to get the basketball and then his ability to elevate. They get Sean Marion defending him, but goes away from him and then knocks down the jumper. And Dan Tony says, hey, that's a traveling violation. You kidding me? It's Christmas, but I'm Scrooge. That's a travel. <laughs> I don't know if he traveled. I don't think he did. I think he has outstanding footwork. The <laughs> catch gets inside off the left foot. And able to knock it down, 23 for Nash. You know, he's ambidextrous with both hand hands. He's also ambifootous. He can go off either foot. <laughs> it's just amazing the body balance he has. As Bryant puts it up, puts it in. Kobe Bryant now at 34. This is the largest lead of the game. Nash with a turnover. 
Only the ninth for Phoenix. Bryant to the basket, foul by Skinner. And more free throws coming up for Kobe. Only LeBron James right now averaging more points per game. And the lead is 10. First double-digit lead of the day. Gary Zelensky has been under assault for the last, like, quarter and a half. <laughs> Every call he's made, somebody's on him. Coach, player, assistant coaches, trainers. But you look at Derek Fisher, that's the difference of, of having Derek Fisher as opposed to Jordan Palmer on Swiss Parker. He's earned the right to be able to talk, and you know he's not going after him. He's not afraid of the moment as Grant Hill knocks down the jump. Hill, that ball got caught on his hip for a moment, but nobody came out to him. 14 points for Grant Hill. Raja Bell back in, hand in the face. No defense there. Kobe Bryant erupting now at 38. I'm doubling him on every catch. You've got Trevor Rees out there. Lamar Odom has Marion Dunks. Lamar Odom hasn't shot the ball well. I am taking the ball out of his hands regardless. Alley up to Stoudemire. Nash saw the defense turn his back for a split second, and he gets his 13 assist. Bryant inside to Bynum, and Bynum puts it in. Andrew Bynum, a career high 28 on 11 of 13 from the field. Marion. And this will do it. Lakers, an impressive win on Christmas Day. As they improved to 18 and 10. Those were Nash's numbers, but it was Kobe Bryant and his young athletic teammates. The supporting cast, also terrific for the Lakers. Hey, happy holidays to you, Kobe. And this is a, an even happier one when you come out with a win against a very potent offensive team. What was key to defeating them? You know, we played very well defensively, I think, in spurts. And uh, we did a much better job in the second half, kind of corralling them and holding them down. And, uh, you know, we played well as a unit. And you've been playing well as a unit, 9-2 and two now in your last 11, and beating the Suns twice already this season. What does that tell you about the way your young team is developing? Oh, we're a solid team. You know, you play against Phoenix, you have to be solid. And uh, we're doing a very good job. We just have to continue to work. You know, Andrew Bynum, very young. You weren't always a big fan, but he is really coming along. What do you make of the way this kid is, is growing and improving each week? Man, he's playing exceptional basketball for us right now. And, uh, you know, at his young age, it's great to see. And the important thing for him is just to continue to work. You know, he's been working extremely hard. And uh, if he continues to do that, the sky's the limit for him. Happy holidays. Congratulations. Thank you.